Last time, on Reserve Inspirations D&D, the party decided to enjoy a night of celebration as it is custom during the evening of Zobindag in Iskard Prime. They headed to Halos and Horns, the hottest club in Iskard, and once outside, hearing the extremely loud music and seeing the flashing lights, Zaxa quickly decided this was not his scene and left on his own, splitting the party. Loser. <laughs> <laughs> he headed to the piers at the base of the mountain where Iskard Prime meets the realm of Muspelheim, an underwater civilization of mostly tritons, and using a bit of magic to save himself from a close call, Zaxa dove in and began to swim down deeper and deeper into the dark abyss below. After some time, <laughs> the, uh, and worried he would not be able to keep up his ability to breathe underwater for much longer, he almost turned around when he caught a glimpse of a dull green light below. He followed it, ignoring the seaweed-like tendrils all around him, also known as the main mode of transportation between the realms. Well, I wish I had known that at the time. <laughs> <laughs> Zoxa eventually made his way to the city below the waves and explored a bit of uh, some quiet waterways until he came to a very large building engulfed by a bubble. He went inside, almost played a hunting game with a Sahagan, and met a mail carrier named Hikariah Merkfin. <laughs> uh, in conversation with Merkfin, Zaxa also learned that the impossible depths have completely frozen over and the frost continues to creep into the Oceanus River. And any ch uh, and chances are, his planet, the planet of Adulk, is most likely partially frozen in place as well. Meanwhile, back at the club, <laughs> the rest of the party, including their pilot Kuprik and Minerva's friend Diambra, were enjoying themselves on the dance floor when suddenly the lights went out. The music stopped, and some sort of nerve gas was released, crippling most of the partygoers. Tragedy struck for Tita when his beloved bong, Gen uh, Genevieve, smashed to the floor. Genevieve! Sad. A group of mercenaries, terrorists, agents of some sort, clad in all black, including masks similar to Minerva's, busted in and kidnapped their intended target, Diambra. Right before making their exit, the largest of the bunch spied Minerva's mask. He lifted her into the air with one arm, called her Number Six, and accused her of desecrating her sacred mask. He pulled it off her face, crushing the edges of it with his powerful fingers, and told her that if he or any other member of this order sees her again, they will kill her. Mm -hmm. Then, with some sort of teleportation magic, he disappeared, leaving chaos to ensue. And when Minerva's mask was removed, she couldn't hold back her celestial power and accidentally released a burst of radiant energy from every orifice of her face, scorching a few of the nearby civilians, which she later healed. Plonk and Tita were kinda scared of Minerva for a bit after that, but eventually came around. <clears throat> um, and after these events, the party was in disarray. Minerva finally slept uh, and allowed her boss, the angel Solar Azaziel, to speak to her in her dreams. And he didn't seem angry, just a bit disappointed that she had pushed him away so many times in the last couple days. They all met back up in the morning to make a game plan. Uh, the events of the evening were discussed and it was decided that the party would seek out this mysterious order and try to get the Amber back. After all... She is their ticket to 500 credits and much-needed ship repairs. Minerva remembered an old client that may know something about this black-clad order, so the party made their way to her villa. She was able to give them a clue as to how this group could be contacted, and the party thanked her and began to make their way to Nadavalir Market, the inner volcanic mountain realm of planet Iskard. And that is where we will be beginning today. So... <clears throat> You are all, you all just left Melinda's, uh, or Madame Fairchild's villa. Madame Fairchild. Madame Fairchild. <laughs> well, uh, wait, can you go over that one more time? The, the recap? The whole no. recap? Yeah, 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 no problem, no problem. Let me just get this. Just do like off seven more so times. <laughs> <laughs> that was a long recap, I'm not doing that again. That was a long recap. I was surprised you left it on for so long. That was a good one, though. <laughs> Alright. So. What... Would you all like to do? Do Do we all want to go try and get Diambra back? I understand if 
anyone feels <clears throat> hesitant about it. I just feel like I didn't really, we didn't really like connect with her. I know. I was thinking the in, same. So in like, any way. I don't actually really care either way. I don't think. Like, I, yeah. It, she just kind of like, well, whatever my neighbor says, I guess. Cause I mean, if you don't care personally, she is still how we're going to get paid. Yeah, but, Most likely. but can't we find, like, can't we each find, like, something else to do? Well, there's not really going to be anything today. Know. Today is the day of rest. Oh, yeah, yes, and that is something you know. This is a ruthless. <laughs> I don't know. Like, leave the bitch. <laughs> as, as you're walking and talking, that's something you kind of notice. As you're walking through the streets, there is no one. The streets are trashed. Like, there's just trash cans, trash. whatever. Everything is everywhere. The only people that you see are um, tritons, and they are cleaning. They are cleaning up everything. Aww. That's what you see. Just there is no ASMR, no other races, just tritons going around and cleaning up all the different levels of Yskard. It's sad. Well. <laughs> I feel like as new he walks by trash, he's probably like picking it up. And... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can we help them pick up trash? Yeah. Along the way, yeah. If you want to pick some stuff up yeah. as you go, sure. <coughs> what? This was. This is already weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! She got kidnapped. She's probably gonna die. We don't care about her. Oh my god! These guys are picking up trash. Let's help them out. <laughs> <laughs> what is yeah. happening? <laughs> You yeah. deal with the problem in front of you, I guess. <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I mean, the idea of finding other jobs could be beneficial, but again, today's the rest day. There's not really going to be anything going on. So then... Uh... We've been following through with this so far. We might as well keep going. Yeah, I guess, I guess we should just go find her then. Yeah, whatever. I guess. <laughs> All right, so are you? <laughs> I feel like Why are you so appalled? <laughs> <laughs> we do not care. We I don't bother her at all. We don't, know her. We don't we need know money her. though. But I can get a different job. I don't need her. Not today, you can't. <laughs> okay, so just get, again, doing whatever Minerva says. <laughs> no, do, do, do what you want to do. No, but like, if you want to go, my, oh, never mind. Okay, my whole thing is. <laughs> We don't know who she is. She came out of nowhere. I know who she, she is. I know, but like she wasn't like like super really friendly, know inviting or anything like that to all of us. She knew you and was like, sup. Like to you. And then got kidnapped. And then and just got kidnapped being, like, by the bad her, like, people. Well, and like She paid for the other room that we're staying in though. <laughs> the only reason we have a place to stay on Isgard is because she paid for it. She did do that for all of us. Okay, so... Yeah. And as you're having this conversation, a Triton comes up with one of those little pokey sticks, and I'm like, excuse me, he just kind of pokes a piece of trash near your feet and picks it up and continues moving along. Oh, sorry! <laughs> <laughs> and you apologize to the Listen, man you've I, never met before, <laughs> you but... never, You never be mean to people picking up trash around you, because one day, they might be your boss. <laughs> Unlike the person who hired us and is our boss. <laughs> but we don't know what we're talking. <laughs> if she's up to no good, I don't know. We don't why, know. Why, why, just, what was the point of going to too bad Madame there's a Madame. skill called insight that you all could have used in <laughs> talking to her? <laughs> Uh, I was gonna say, well, not me. Like, yeah, no, I'm ripping you off with my little services. <laughs> <laughs> I only got three, so this is the middle. Well, you do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go get yeah, it. Fine, whatever. I mean, if we don't all have to go, I'm like that. That's fine. I just <laughs> find something. Else, find something no. else to preoccupy yourself with, but it's not going to be getting money. Not today, at least. He said, "There's nothing to do, so whatever." I mean, I'm sure that you could find something. It's a big planet. I'm crossing all four of my arms right now. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Let's go get her. Well, do you have your disguise kit with you? Oh, I sure do. Alright, that might come in handy. <laughs> the 
<laughs> <laughs> At the very least, we can see what's in the market. In True. Mid Valley. True. We have all of our stuff, yeah. Let me see. So is that where everyone is heading? To the uh, the Valley or Everyone say that, right? Yeah. Are we are we going to the market to buy things? No. Melinda okay. explained that there is someone there who could potentially be a contact for the organization we're trying to find. That's right. Okay. So are you heading that in that direction? Alright, so you have to kind of head back down a bit uh, as Melinda, or sorry, uh, Madame Fairchild's um, villa was was toward the peak. So you have to make your way down, and it's it's a good distance, um, maybe a mile or two <clears throat> uh, down the mountain as you as you travel. Um, is there anything that you'd like to do along the way to Nandavalier? You would be passing by your hotel room if you wanted to swing in there for anything, but other than that. I grabbed all of my stuff out of there. Yeah, I'm also I grabbed anything, anything behind. Yeah. Okay. I'm also. All right, very good. Are we? Is it like a a woodsy walk? Is it like a city walk? Uh, is it like a so? Let me. I'll give you a, a, a brief since uh, you know this is a new episode. A I'll give a brief village? description of uh, Iskard Prime. The mound itself is a very very dark stone, um, and there are little specks of like a silvery metal, just tiny little specks that kind of give off a shimmer. Similar to how the all the structures are built with a shiny silver metal, but they have like a, a, a like a white gemstone, and then that also reflects uh, the rainbow, um, or like rainbow colors all around. Uh, the mountain is like I, I mentioned um, before; it's massive, bigger than any mountains you've ever seen before, other than you obviously because you've been here, you live here, whatever. Um, and the there really aren't many trees on Isgard. It's more just that shiny, almost like obsidian black rock. All over the okay. mountain, um, and that's it's pretty much all the way from the top to the bottom, all the way through. So you can like this see pathways. for like yo, you can see good distances. Yeah, sometimes there's buildings in the way, depending on how you're you're you know, kind of okay. curving around the mountain. Is it, but... is it if it's like an open spot, you just see like openness into like space. Uh, openness until you get to like the edge of the cliff edge, and then it kind of you can look down into Muspelheim, the the ocean. Okay, so uh, it's, it's basically, realm. it's like being, like, on a mountain. Like, the planet itself is the mountain, <clears throat> and then there are those small floating islands that right. kind of go ar around it. Okay. Muspelheim is the water below, okay. and Nadavalir is the volcanic area inside. Okay, so is it, like, uh, so it's rocky, so is there, like, there's not really, like, sand or anything like that? Uh, you could get, like... It, where people walk and whatnot, there's there's definitely ground up rock and stuff like that. You might be able to get a little bit, but it would take a bit of time to kind of search around. And... Is it like volcanic rock? <laughs> well, it's a volcano, so chances are. <laughs> Probably. It's a volcano, so no. Can I pick up a couple of... Yeah, you want to inspect it? Make rocks? an entry check. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know where this is going. Neither do I, but that's fine. <laughs> it's Plunk. Who knows what's going on with Plunk? I see something new, I want. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Six. <laughs> it's a rock and it's shiny. Great, I want it. You can take it. Yeah, you got a couple little rocks about this size. Yeah, you can tiny ones. Yeah, pocket those. Oh my god, it's so useless. <laughs> <laughs> You don't know what it is? Cool, I still want it. <laughs> cool! It's shiny! Got it! I think it come in handy somehow. Oh, it's a rock! What is it? A rock! It's a rock! Yes! Can, it's I, a ever, rock. can I ever use it to throw it at someone? I mean, like, you probably, can. yeah. I mean, it's, it's a rock, rock that is able to be thrown. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's probably the only thing you know about the rock. <laughs> that it could be thrown at people. Perfect! <laughs> Great! <laughs> so the four of you continue on down. Um, and the, the pathway that you're kind of on opens up um, as you kind of um, curve around one of the edges of the, the cliffside. Um, and it opens up into a massive cave entrance. Um, the large open cave mouth has uh, like this red uh, glowing ivy of some sort that kind of um, en encompasses the, the outer ring of it um, and kind of hangs down a bit. Um, and it's very, it's very beautiful. Um, so the, the vines, uh, they're filled with large green leaves, but there seems to be like the, the edges of these leaves have like a, a red that kind of just like shoots out to the edges of it. Um, and as you begin to, <laughs> I'll be like, 
do I want to? <laughs> <laughs> I might want to. I wanna, yeah. No, no, you I think I want to. Just mark down everything that you're taking <laughs> from this planet. <laughs> Um, on the way, I want to uh, see if I can't spot myself a library. Okay. Yeah. Um, mm. yeah make an investigation check as you are uh, heading we'll through. Do that. I will do that. With this one. With the rainbow. Mm. Good. Okay. Uh, that is a 15 plus 4. 19. 19. Uh, yes. You, um, so as you were, you were heading down from uh, Madame Fairchild's place... This isn't your current destination, so it was it was bypassed. But yeah. um, a couple layers below her layer with her, with her villa, um, there you didn't see the building itself, but you did see a sign for a library, and it, it pointed um, toward the eastern direction. Cool. So you know that. I will you, make a note of that. Yes. Good. Okay, so you um, as you kind of step into this cave entrance, uh, the scent of eucalyptus hits you first. <gasps> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and as you take uh, additional steps further in, that smell is still uh, pungent, but you start to smell other types of smells as well. Um, there are different types of meats that you can smell. Uh, yeah, yes. Uh, roasting and sizzling. No, we're literally making the same face. <laughs> <laughs> There's meat. Oh. <laughs> Um, now, beyond these vines, as you step in, uh, of, of the ivy, you can see these cool blue orbs that kind of just float and hang at the top of the cavern. Um, it's, it gives it like a magical light. Uh, and they, they seem to be magically placed around, along all the, like, the rough cave ceiling to uh, amply light every single nook and cranny of this entire place. At first glance, looking around, there isn't a single spot that you see that is shaded or shadowed or anything like that. The entire place is lit with these like, dull blue glowing lights. Um, and as you step inside... <laughs> you should throw your rock at it. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, can you give me a boost? <laughs> I want to touch it. <laughs> Uh, as you step in past the ivy and you start to see all this, these lights, um, the temperature also increases. Not significantly, but you go from a, a, a very comfortable 72 and sunny to about 80 degrees. Uh, it's not it's not extremely hot, but it's... Uh, your antenna's they're, they're, they're bobbing. Yeah, they're, they're, they're bobbing. kind of twitching a little bit. It's, it's getting warm. Um, and the further you step into this, the warmer it gets. It's the inside of a volcano. Makes sense, right? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> there, right now. there is it yeah. is tolerable though because there is a breeze from outer Iskard that is blowing in and you can see you can see the ivy I don't know how to do that <laughs> <laughs> I gotta make a note <laughs> uh, so welcome to Nadavalier's trade district can we um, have contacts for a second <laughs> Oh, what just happened? What? Oh, yeah. So, oh, oh, I, mentioned, I mentioned about the, the warmth because it's cold in here, and as soon as I said that, the AC the went AC out. The AC turned off. Oh, it's <laughs> And then like, I said, wish I wasn't freezing. Oh. Like, oh, we love the rest of the vegetation. You just wasted your wish spell. <laughs> All right. I don't think it's a wish spell. But... <laughs> so this cavern entrance opens up to a massive cavern. Massive. You can't even really see the other, the far end of it. Um, and there's also a large structure in the center that's obscuring anything behind it. Um, there's over a hundred buildings in this area, uh, mostly shops. Um, uh, and they're, they're kind of built, most of the shops are kind of built into the walls of the oh, cavern. I was just going to ask all that. All the way around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> and each one is offering different types of trade goods. So as you start to like roam around and whatnot and take, take in all of this, um, you see many, many, many places that sell armor, weapons, uh, different types of metal construction materials that you would need, uh, jewelry. Mm -hmm. That's all, yeah. Um, there are dealers of uh, that magical shimmering crystal um, and the silvery uh, mithril ingots as well. Um, and you can hear different humanoids yelling out and advertising for different smiths and, and other workers because their smiths are not on this level. They're further down. So they have, you know, salesmen, essentially, up to be like, uh, Gurkis's fine goods! And just he's yelling out all the other different things and you can always, if you'd like, interact with any of them. Um, 
What else? Oh, and there are big, bright uh, advertisements in using magic with illusory text that talk about, like, you know, the names of the stores, and they might have lists of what's going on, flashing, like, neon lights. Um, and there's vendors that have much, uh, very rare meats, um, things for, like, from uh, the, a bullet, um, which, and then there's also, um, you see, like, these little uh, wiry bat-looking things that are hanging up that look like they might be delicious. Um, and, yeah, there's, there's tons of mining equipment as well. But yeah, you are in the center of this. Well, not really the center, but you're in this uh, cavern trade district. What would you like to do? So I want to just like kind of group everyone up just to say something, I guess. Um, so I'm going to like just, yeah, team huddle. Um, <laughs> okay, so is everyone positive that they want to do this? Because I, I don't know who these people are, but they seem very, very dangerous. If we do this, there can't be any distractions. We have to be focused. You, as you say, we have to be focused. <laughs> I'm like looking, I just really, not <laughs> yeah, staring at Plonk as you say focused. I really like those shiny gems over there. Mm -hmm. I'm the, staring at the money. The rock, huh? <laughs> How are you going to purchase them? Do you think that meat looks good? How are you going to purchase it? It all looks really nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, what was the last time you all ate besides your breakfast. continental breakfast? Um, we got sandwiches from Madame Fairchild. Yeah, finger, finger sandwiches. sandwiches. That's right. And, and, and they were and made of fingers. fingers. They were not made of fingers. They were not made of fingers. <clears throat> that we know of. Correct. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't insight that, did we? No. <laughs> <laughs> we're really bad at just taking people's word for stuff. Uh, like, I, yeah. I don't know her. I don't think there's been a five single minutes. insight. In check. five minutes, he's like, "Oh, yes, you're all dead because those were for <laughs> <laughs> All of you make a con save right now. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying I like the look of it. Okay. Well. Yeah, and Plunk, as you're moving through, the sense of uh, freshly baked bread and uh, fresh and grilled fish, wet clay, herbs and spices, mm, just all of it. Plonk the wet clay was an interesting one. I know. To it's just there. one that she passed <laughs> by a clay stand. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Plonk, how about we make a deal? I will get you something if you can scope this area out, do your little sneaky stuff. We're looking for a fire genasi that shadows seem to cling to. Okay. I want you to scope this out, find them, and then after we get back from rescuing Deambra, I will get you something. <clears throat> but once you find this genasi, come back to us, because Hi. then we're going to have to figure out how to approach them so that we're not immediately recognized. What shadow step what? <laughs> so <laughs> Fire Genasi the what? There's a fire genasi and Madame Fairchild said that the shadows seem to cling to him. Okay. This <clears throat> is the contact that can get us in touch with that organization that took the Andra. Got it. I want you to scope the place out. Find the fire guy. Shadows love him. Do not, Got it. do not talk to him. Come right back to us. After you do that, we're going to disguise you so that if we approach again, if he saw you, he won't be able to recognize you. I'm immediately going to start like, just like almost like a dog, like who catches a scent, just like, and just like. And just, like All right, so you start. Darting around, give me a perception check as you are searching for this gentleman. I hope it's a one. Oh, it's not a one. <laughs> it's a two. No. <laughs> <laughs> investigation. Uh, well, yeah, you can do investigation. Uh, you're searching specifically for something. Six. Wow, you're really good with that six today. <laughs> I used the same one and I don't know why. These, these shadows must really cling to them because <clears throat> you are searching around, you, you make a full lap all the way around t and, and check the outer edge, and then you do another lap going the other way, checking out that inner area. No, nothing that you can find. While that's happening, I'm going to raise my big hand and my little hand on this side. <laughs> <laughs> <And I'm gonna laughs> 
like um so if I don't do something she can get money mm -hmm. so can I do something and get money <laughs> I'm staring at the the mining thing and like just the metal stuff. Well, you've already got to spend more money than Plonk though because <clears throat> I didn't we got know. we got your drugs the other day. <laughs> I like look at my little pouch and I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> like <this. laughs> once once we find Deombra and we can accomplish her job, we'll have spending money left over. We can all get some stuff before we leave Isgard. If we can get her back, that is, and get enough money. Yeah. Sounds good. I think for now we might just need to lay low until Plonk gets back. Just so that we're not seen. Yeah, and, and while you're all kind of just standing around um, waiting, <laughs> you can hear... Uh, <clears throat> You, can, you see this, there's a bunch of different salesmen yelling out different things, but you see one that kind of strikes you as a little odd is you will see a fire elemental that's standing there, and he's like, Come and see Gurkis's work! Or Gurkis, yeah, Gurkis's work. Uh, it's, it's the best smithing in all, all the land, just for being stupid and ridiculous. <laughs> there was not really paying attention, she's kind of like, has her arms crossed, and she's looking in the direction that Plonk went every now and then, but... Can I try again? Uh, <laughs> well, you come back to the group, and you couldn't find this. I this can't find the fire, fire guy. I can't find mm. him. We don't talk. Well, I looked everywhere. It's okay. Look you harder. Did, you did good. It's all right. Where did you look exactly? Over there, <laughs> over there, and over there. AKA, she circled the entire place and then circled back to check the inner area. Did you look in any of the alleyways? There's alleyways in here. I'm only picturing that. Th I'm only picturing that there are. Maybe, right. th maybe there's not. So the, it's maybe it's one not. big open cavern. Okay. In the center, there's a massive staircase that goes up and a massive staircase that goes down. Okay. Completely surrounding that are a bunch of different businesses. So it gives like a centerpiece, mm -hmm. like a uh, like spokes kind of wheel. Okay. All right, but like, yeah, like the places between buildings. I'm picturing it as uh, the movie. Um, <laughs> The movie uh, Ants. Oh, I didn't know movies existed in this. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm no, she... no, I. I'm yeah. Out of character. I'm picturing <laughs> the movie Ants. How like they have like the pods almost. Oh, like built in. Oh, like right built now. into the oh. walls and stuff, yeah. or like some like. Well, the, the buildings. The buildings are made of that same silvery metal. Yeah. Um, and yeah, they have those bright flashing lights and whatnot. But yeah, so you did not find this. I didn't so. find him. I looked everywhere. I it's, thought. It's alright. Maybe. Maybe the rest of us ought to go with you this time, but I think just in case we should get your disguise ready now in case he saw you and you didn't see him. That means I don't get to get anything. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, it does. <clears throat> I didn't. I well, tried so hard! We can, we can talk about it later. We'll have a lot of money later, and we can get stuff before we leave Isgard. But only if we do this job. My little arms are, like, massaging the back of Blanc's shoulders. Like, so. <laughs> Just leaving cuts. There's a princess. <laughs> well, I'm actually crying. Ow. Ow. <laughs> oh my god, are you okay? I'm actually crying. <laughs> Good, get in the character. Yeah. Really. You get it going. I'd give you a hug, but coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> I'd give you a hug, but don't touch me. But don't touch me. <laughs> so, Soxie, you've been fairly quiet. Yeah, I've been just looking around at all the stuff and letting these... I'm gonna pull out my... ...guys do... ...stuff out of my disguise kit. <laughs> just right in the center of the... No, we're ducking into an alley. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, you kind of hide between two. And uh, she starts playing that, you just grab yeah, it. Yeah, now you get to an alley, you do that, and I'm just like, nope. Up my <laughs> so, what I need is I need a, a stealth check from Plonk, but before you roll that, I need a sleight of hand check from Minerva to see how well she can pull you off to the side without even noticing. Oh my god, alright. Wait, are we all going in this alley? No, just the two of them, I think, unless you want to follow. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go smoke. <laughs> It's alright, it was a 4 plus 3. Mm, yeah, so you, you're gonna roll with disadvantage. 
Terrible, so uh, <laughs> I don't know what is going on with you today. <laughs> so, the two of you, you're Get just kind of standing there and you're finishing up the little <clears throat> massage for Plonk, and then uh, Plonk just kind of goes down, starts pulling stuff out of her kit, whenever she grabs her and just like tosses her into an alleyway. People around are like, What's going on? <laughs> this this place uh, is <laughs> this place isn't packed, uh, a lot of the shops are actually closed as it is rest day. Mm-hmm. Uh, there are some shops that are open and doing everyday business, but most yes. of them are run by like Tritons <laughs> or other races that aren't Ace and R. Okay. So, the two of you are in the alleyway. You're looking at your disguise kit. What would you like to make yourself look like? Whenever I watch my look like. Um. <laughs> She's half dressed as someone else. Like, Wait a minute! What are <laughs> <that's that's laughs> <that's laughs> I just kind of like throw on like a wig and like glasses and I'm like, I'm ready! <laughs> <laughs> like no one will recognize me. Well actually in that case, why don't you roll on. why don't you roll for it? It would be um it would be your <laughs> proficiency bonus plus your intelligence to see how uh how, how well you can come up with a cool outfit. So proficiency, intelligence, and the dice roll. She comes out with those things with like the glasses with like the pre stuff. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <clears throat> Doesn't change your voice at all. No. Intelligence Some lady modifier. with a mustache. Huh? Intelligence modifier plus two plus the dice roll. <laughs> Eleven. Okay, yeah, so you get the hat, you get the glasses. And I rolled an uh, eight. Minerva's like, well, maybe maybe like throw a cloak on too. <laughs> Yeah. I rolled an 8. <laughs> it's a 20, a 16, an 8, and a 10. Mm-hmm. Okay. It was about to go on to the 20, and then it, and then it went, nope. Well, you're lucky you didn't it's roll to the 2, because the 2 is also next to the 20. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yes, you, you gather up this disguise, if you can call it that. and um... Zoxa, I need your opinion on something. What's that? So, we have Plonk's disguise set up. I can... Set up a disguise for myself since. Just look at her and be like, right. Since the <laughs> group of people were trying to find didn't seem to like me very much, so I figured I should look different. However, it can only sustain itself for an hour. Should I do that before we start to look for the contact, or once we spot him, should I duck somewhere and then change so that I have more time when we're with him? My only hesitancy with that is I'm worried about him seeing me before I can duck somewhere to shift. If he sees you as you are, would that bring us trouble? Yes. If he, well, <clears throat> depending on how much he knows about this organization, probably. We should assume that it would, just to be safe. Then I think we should disguise you before <clears throat> we look for him. Because if we, if he finds us, before we find him, then we might be in trouble. Okay, so are you any good at timekeeping? If an hour <laughs> runs out before we get what we need from him, I'm going to need you to cause a distraction so that I can <laughs> shift again. <laughs> or I mean, I could always help one of the others do it, but you seem to have the best memory. <laughs> Distraction. Distra- what? You That's Plonk's specialty. <laughs> that shouldn't be a problem. Um, let's see. Prestidigitation lasts an hour. Uh, I, I can give you a distraction now. It'll last for an hour. <laughs> well, not yet, but... That is fine. Thank I'll cast... You. Unseen Servant, which lasts an hour. Mm. And I know that because it lasts the same amount of time as I can hold my breath. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Oh, that's right. I have to say the thing again. <laughs> again, I need to apologize. <laughs> <laughs> My pronunciation of these things is awful. If we ever have anyone who lives in Iceland uh, watching this, they're going to be like, man, he does not know how to speak our language. I don't know why you would say Iceland, because before that, no one would have known. <laughs> even people in Iceland. No, we've offended everyone in Iceland. Oh my god. <laughs> So all, all of the so many people who are watching us. I take a bit of string and of wood, mm. just just a little bit of, of of wood, and I will say, <laughs> "Oh man, it's awful." <laughs> and we'll do we whatever. And change this language. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why do you think that would matter? <laughs> and we'll form. My unseen servant. That none of you see. Because it's unseen. Yeah, I'm gonna add, what did oh, you just really? do? Yeah, it's literally completely invisible. Uh, invisible, mindless, shapeless, medium force. Shapeless, medium force that performs simple tasks. So the task will be to stand by me and wait for the duration. <laughs> of like 59 minutes and then alert you before he disappears. <laughs> he's, a, he's a clock. Yeah. He's an hour long clock. You know That's you have an hour right now. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so when... <clears throat> when they disappear, you need to let me know because then I'm going to need to redo this spell. And then Minerva snaps her fingers and she casts Disguise Self. And basically, her clothes kind of change so that instead of like that armor that like she's wearing, it turns into like dark blue robes. Her skin also changes to be like a very, very light blue color. And her hair is white and shorter and slicked back, and her eyes are also light blue. And her ears get a little more pointier too, because usually her ears are rounded, but now they're like in elf ears. So you're trying to look a little drowish? Um, more like a moon elf. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, sounds good. So you look like a moon elf. Wait, so she just did that? Like, I don't recognize her us. anymore. No, I, no one does. Yeah, my big eyes are definitely blinking, and I'm like, where'd she go? <laughs> Does my voice change with this guy's self, or is it just the appearance? Just okay. the appearance, yeah. And, and it's illusory, so if you... No, yeah, I know. <laughs> if someone try, like, tries to touch your shoulder, they're going to feel leather armor yeah. underneath and whatever, yeah, but... No. Yeah, so Minerva is now a moon elf. Yeah, I'm going to look at Blanc and be like, who the frell is that? <laughs> You're not hallucinating, don't worry, it's just me. We're both disguised right now. My eyes are blinking. You can, but you knew that was Plonk, though, because you just had to pop the glasses in the corner. And I'm like, could you tell? You're like, we both look so different. Oh my god, it's uncanny. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Alright, so what's next on the docket? Alright, I guess... I guess we all can work together to find this person. Woo woo! Right? Fire Genasi, Shadows, let's check the alleyways this time. Should we split to cover more ground and meet back somewhere? Yeah, like two of you can mm -hmm. go one way, two can go the other way and meet at the other end. Says Thank you, Kubrick. <laughs> just some random that, that fire elemental just popped in. He's like, yeah, if you, if you split, you know, you'll cover more ground. <laughs> No context, just, oh, I know what these people are talking about. I've been there. Um, that's a good idea, though, Zoxa. I like that. Um, we could always just meet back here, too. I think that would be wise. Alright, so let's say, what, ten minutes you meet back here? So you split into twos? Alright, Plonk, let's go. You two, you two. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, have, I'll have my servant follow me, okay. so he doesn't... Just like wait around and disappear, no one knowing. Yeah. Uh, uh, wait, I can't see him. You said. Correct. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> but I know it's walking next to you. If I poke it, does it? It's, it's not it? walking. It's just moving. Well, whatever. Yes, yeah, it's I, just gliding. <laughs> if I poke it, does, it, does nothing just happen? <laughs> oh. uh, I don't think anything happens. Well, I'm just gonna keep circling you and like. <laughs> Trying to find Every once in a while, it, you don't necessarily make purchase with anything, but you can feel almost like, let's say, you have a balloon and you kind of poke it a bit. Okay. You almost get that like slight resistance. 
Okay. So I'm just going to keep doing that with all four of my arms <laughs> while we walk. Luckily, it's not a balloon. It doesn't pop from your pincers, okay. but... Uh... Could you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, shit, I'm I cast again. a balloon person. <laughs> 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 so, who's going to the left? Who's going to the right? Uh, can you go left? Yeah. Okay. Left. Great. There are people on my right go to the left. People on my left go to the right. Yeah. Sounds good to me. All right. Uh, so I would like... You're welcome. I would like <laughs> either... Both of you to roll a percep- uh, an investigation check, or one can aid the other for advantage. Same with you two. Well, my investigation is plus zero. So. Well, mine is plus four. Oh, so well, yeah. That's how you so, I'll I'll take advantage. Uh, <laughs> I think that'll be bad. I have plus one. All right. So if you move me out, I can roll twice. Oh my god! Doing great work over that here. That is a joke. So um, I rolled a five <laughs> plus four. Is nine, or I rolled a five <laughs> plus four is nine. nine. Ooh! But I'm going to use my portent and I'm yes. going to call it a twelve plus four is sixteen. Yes. Right. What is going on today? How did you two, I can't wait. If we have a battle tonight, ooh, we are this is gonna dying. Be fun. That's oh, no, wait, wait. What, what did you roll? So I uh, I rolled the same number twice. That oh number, my god, same as him. That number happened to be a two. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and then a plus three. So I got a uh, five, which is what Mike rolled was two fives. I rolled two fives. <laughs> so doing great things. No, here guys, today. we're getting all the crappy ones out now, no, so yeah. we don't die. Sure, yeah. Oh we'll be man. Nat twenty all day. Exactly. Oh, the optimism. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, as the the two of you are walking, you're you're really trying to trek down these alleyways. You're not really paying attention to where you're walking. Um, and Minerva, you bump into, um, this, this, actually, you would recognize this type of creature. It is an Azer. You've met them before. Uh, he's got that fiery beard and the fiery hair on top and the, the metallic, like, helmet mask. Um, and yeah, you just, you just, right into him and he's like, hey, watch where you're going, elf! Excuse me, my apologies. Are you asking the DM or this angry Azer? The DM. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> I was really ready to just... I would like... <laughs> I know, I was like, whoa, that's aggressive. She's just going to be like, um, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Are you the one we're looking for? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, can I use my telepathy to Minerva? Yeah. So you go to use it. your no, telepathy. That's not how it works. You go to use your telepathy. <laughs> yeah. And you're trying. Oh my god. You're trying. Nothing's happening. So you, you attempt to, and yeah, you're trying to send that signal out that you've done so many times before, and it's just not making connection. That's really sad. <laughs> what? Well, never mind. <laughs> so the Azer is standing right in front of you, and he's like, Why don't you watch where you're going, elf? What are two elves doing on this planet anyway? <laughs> oh, God. You've never seen an elf before? Actually... Obviously, I have if I knew you were an elf. Not on this planet, I mean. On this planet? Not really. Actually, I'm a Verdon. You're an elf to me. Awesome. And he just kind of shoves <laughs> between the two of you and continues walking. Do you think that's the fire guy? No, that's not a genasi. It's, it, it's like how you're not an elf, you're a Verdon. That... That's not a genasi. That was an Azer. Fiery, but different. Okay. <laughs> Which you you've met Azers before, like the second yeah. episode or third episode or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, I um I wrote down fire guy shadows love him. <laughs> <laughs> perfect man, perfect. Zox is gonna have to look at your notes. <laughs> <laughs> he was a fire guy. And he was very angry, which means shadows probably love him. (laughs) Possibly. Possibly. The other two, Tita Zaxa, you two make your way around the right-hand side, kind of looking into the alleys and and checking as you go. 
And it's not too difficult, Zaxa. I don't, you don't know how Plonk missed it the first time. It's the <laughs> only shadowy area in this entire place. There's like a... There isn't an overhang or anything. It's just like a... Oh, because you said everything was covered in light. <laughs> it's literally one shadowed area in the entire place. And there's no overhang or anything. It's just shadow. Oh, and there's man. this... You see this... Um, I'll give you a quick description here. So you see a fire genasi, female... Uh, she is kind of um, tucked uh, uh, off to the side of one of the sets of stairs, between um, the stairs and one of the uh, shops that are there. Um, she, her hair, now this is odd, not that, I guess, you, you have seen fire genasi on the streets of Iskart as you've been walking through, they're, they're fairly prevalent. Um, but this one, her hair is quite odd. Um, it is, it's like a bright... Uh, bright, dark, reddish color, and it's like and most fire genasi have the hair kind of going up, almost like a flame. This one has it just pinned straight down to her shoulders on either mm -hmm. side, like dissected right in the center. Um, She's and got a middle part. And the, the middle part going on on each side. Yeah, it's a, a little longer than shoulder length, and there's like in the dark red of her hair, there's like little yellow specks um, that kind of hmm. kind of fill it out. So, but like, is she cute? <laughs> <laughs> That's the real question. Oh yeah. Oh. She's real cute. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, it, it's it's pretty cool too because yeah. it's not really hair. It looks like yeah. fire is just like licking down her shoulders and kind of like out. It's pretty cool. Hmm. Um, she wears tight brown leathers uh, with an orange um, oh. like short. I don't know what they're called, but like that little short cape. Oh, oh yeah, it's, a little it's bit like this long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. real short. Um, he's also the one like, oh my god, this is the girl. <laughs> the and she's like, she's hot. <laughs> and she has uh, bright orange knee-high boots as well. Oh, oh yeah. Um, <laughs> you see, you spy a, a, a pendant, a, a black gem pendant that hangs from a silver chain around her neck. Um, and she keeps a long, thin blade at her side. Um, and when you when you notice her, you can see her there. She's just kind of you know not really paying attention, just gnawing on some fingernails and kind of like you know pull them off and whatnot. And yeah, you just gotta see her hanging out over there. Cool. I'll I'll look at uh, Tita and and just I'll I'll like kind of hush tones. Just just keep walking. She doesn't seem to even look at you. She's just she's real busy with her nails. Me and Nolan like, clearly staring at her. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so the two of you, you do your full circle, yeah. meet back uh, where you originally started, and yeah, you, you, the, the four, you, the two of you, you know, see each other. And do we walk past it too? No. Oh, wait, are you fully? Are you all fully yeah, circled we all the going... way around and meeting the same place? Or are you yeah. going halfway and meeting there? Well, no, I thought we were going. So you're gonna, gonna see each other. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna pass each other like we don't know each other. Oh, all right. So yes, you do that. <laughs> I mean, with your roles, you probably didn't see her. No, I was yeah. gonna say <laughs> both times. Everyone's <laughs> trying to be incognito, and Plonk's like, <laughs> you guys, as you're passing <laughs> by, guns. <laughs> and then honestly, like, who the hell? Oh. <laughs> It takes you to get around the entire thing and like search and check. Uh, it takes you about fifteen minutes to navigate the entirety of it uh, with a with a good investigation. Um, but yeah, you all come together and you are back to the original place you were. We didn't see anyone. I think we found who we're looking for. Oh, I found it. <laughs> we were together the whole time. We didn't. Zoxa, what did you find? <laughs> um, we found a hot chick. That's what we found. L literally, well, because she has, she's fire. Person. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just look. Yes, I guess technically she was hot. <laughs> What kind of hat are you wearing, by the way, Punk? Oh. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> also, where did you get it? My disguise kit. The disguise kit. It just has a hat in it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's all kinds of stuff in there. <laughs> it's 
It's some outrageous. <laughs> is it like a top hat with a feather? Oh, oh, oh is he yeah. like a Kentucky a Kentucky Derby hat? Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> and like, and the smallest sunglasses that cover only like. Half, half of my eyes. Half of my eyes. They're so yeah. big. Yeah. Wearing like way down though, so it doesn't cover <laughs> any, any of your eyes. <laughs> so I'm just like, <laughs> I love this. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> when we come together, I want to walk up and be like, "Nice to meet you." <laughs> like we're meeting for the first time to like try to stay like in character. <laughs> in character. In, in character. character. Yes. All the layers. <laughs> Peel the onion. <laughs> I was just about to say like an onion. <laughs> uh, yeah. So you do that. Who are you going up to? Zaxo or uh, Tito? Zaxo. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> I look at Plonk, and then I look at Zoxa, like Zoxa is the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking the fourth. <laughs> and it's like, is she kidding? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, fine. What did we find? <laughs> we found her. Where I believe. Yeah, um, so long. She, I, I explained where we found her. I don't but the only it was essentially, it was it was essentially the, point. Yeah. the opposite point of where you are currently. It's the opposite side of the stairwell thing because you're you're currently at the set of stairs that goes. So it was upward. literally as we passed them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was right there. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So Flan so, didn't see so, because she was too busy doing finger yeah. <laughs> so. And you were just shaking your head at her, and I'm just like. <laughs> yeah. So the side the side that you're currently on, the staircase that you can see uh, goes up. You can't see where it goes to. It just goes up in, into like an opening, um, and then the one that goes down is on the opposite side, which is where you saw the fire genasi um, okay. kind of tucked into an alleyway between that stairwell and, and the, the, the shop. Okay, cool. All right, so last chance to opt out. Are we all doing this? Well, I mean, now that I saw her, hell yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> That's what you needed, TJ. <laughs> That's what I needed. I could care less about that D-Lady. <laughs> what if it turns out that we have to fight her? <clears throat> um, okay. Alright. Okay. So, TJ doesn't care. She, he just wants to, like, get close. <laughs> Alright, so what's our story? Why are we hiring a mysterious, violent organization? Jeopardy music starts playing yeah, I, I didn't think we were going to get this far. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think we were going I, to actually find them. I mean, to be honest, I'm kind of with her on that. <laughs> um. hmm. Maybe we need an assassin for... To kill Kubrick? <laughs> no. <laughs> And if they Someone succeed, say Cooper that. <laughs> Somewhere Cooper gets its shell. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you must be talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Maybe we could say that there's, I don't know, a corrupt captain of the guard or something you would like to hire in a <clears throat> That's the only thing Should I we be think. so upfront about it, though? No, no, we shouldn't get all the deal all the details to the contact. We should just have the story in place so that once we get to where we need to go, we can keep up the act for as long as we need to and maybe sneak away. Okay. So. Agreed. So should I talk to her? <laughs> She's like touching the hat. <laughs> <laughs> The huge. I, am, I am very good at this rising. You know what? You, you can help me talk to him. Okay. Right. <laughs> so are you the two of you heading to the Genasi? Well, are we, are we all going? Like, we can all go together and we can just do the talking. If everyone is sure we want to go through with this. I feel like we should um, not spread out 
but not look like a group of of all different creatures together. Oh, there's two elves. <laughs> yeah, but like... Oh my gosh, how long has it been? Uh, you said 15 minutes It was 15 minutes to go all the way around. The conversation's probably taking about 5 minutes to discuss mm-hmm. what you want to do. So you're about 20 minute mark. Okay. I mean, we don't look too dissimilar. Like, <clears throat> we're both blue. We both have long ears. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying, I'm trying to ease Plonk's concerns about looking... I don't know. Sorry, big boy. <laughs> Listen, there are a lot of blue people here. There are water genasi. There are tritons that have that tealish blue kind of like scaly skin color. It's, there's there's other blue creatures here. If we have twenty minutes left of, of your spell, left? Wait, I thought we. I thought it, no, it's only been twenty, 20 minutes has gone by. You have forty. Only minutes. Have four oh, minutes. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, my mistake. I don't know. <laughs> I was gonna say, we get over there, close, into an alley, recast it, so we have a full hour. Well, we still have close to a full hour, though. I'm okay with recasting it in 40 minutes, as long as a distraction is still able to be done. Of course. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, sure. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay, so let's go talk to her. So, yeah. So is it... All four are approaching as a group, or are you kind of so, spreading? I think so, but it's like me and Plonk, like, kind of... We're kind of, like, hanging back. Hanging back like, a bit, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Together, not together. <laughs> yeah. We're more of them. Right, so as the two of you begin to approach, you can you can see her, she's kind of, like, picking at her nails, and she kind of, like, one eye up, and she kind of just turns, she's like, just expectantly waiting to see if you actually are approaching, or if you're just doing something nearby. And when you physically approach, she's like, so, can I help you with something, or are you just staring? Well, the shadows do look good on you. They seem to cling to you in a way that they don't to most others. Well, and then she steps out of the alleyway, and the shadows stay exactly where they are, and she's like, It's just this spot. Interesting Not me. Spot. We're looking so- to... We immediately start writing down. That's <laughs> us! That's amazing! <laughs> We're looking to hire someone with a rather particular skill set. Sure, sure. I, I might know someone. Okay. Uh, what type of uh, skill set uh, do. What type of skill set are you looking for in particular? Well, not one that you could find amongst most everyday civilians. Someone hmm. who's. Precise. <clears throat> okay. Good in the shadows, much like yourself. Again, she points back to the shadows. <laughs> I just stand here. Uh, I, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, but I, uh, yes, I think I may be able to help you. Uh, I, though I do need some more detail than just what you gave me. Um, and. Well, what kind of detail? Well. Uh, I would need to know time frame. Um, if you're looking for more than just one uh, person to look into this endeavor, um, and also how much you're willing to pay, because that can be negotiated. Okay. But the boss likes to know ahead of time what you're willing to pay. Well, I believe we would only need one person, so long as we can actually get in contact with them to go over the details and more with more elaboration that shouldn't be a problem okay it shouldn't take any longer than a day if they're any good at it and (laughs) they're good trust me and as far as pay rate depending on how fast they can do it let's say Let's start at 50 credits and then we can negotiate. <laughs> 50. 50 credits. I'm just going to go back to my shadows. And she kind of just steps back into the shadows and just goes back to chewing on her fingernails. I thought you would have been more keen to negotiate. Not when the bid is so low to begin. Then make your case for it to be higher. 
It's not my job to make the case for it to be higher. I just know that the boss would never accept such a pitiful amount. Your loss, then. <laughs> sure. Oh, the bomb. You wanted to help me talk, say something. Blanc's getting angry. Okay. This looks familiar. <laughs> <laughs> She's basically a steam-like. <laughs> I want to try to persuade her. Well, just, yeah, go for it. What do you say? <sighs> While this is happening, I'm like, I'm <laughs> hitting Zach, so I'm like, yo, yo, like, she's about to go off. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> she's about to do it. <laughs> what, what sort of, I'm going to start off with, what sort of, uh, what range of numbers are we, are we, uh, looking at for... Price-wise, you, you mean? Yes, for yeah. something like this. To, uh, take care as of. As long as it's not an amount that is as insulting as 50 credits, then, uh, there shouldn't be much of a problem. Maybe look at, like, two to three hundred credits, depending on who the target is and how quickly you would like the job done. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'm just I'm going to like look at Plonk and just nod. <laughs> She's like so good. Does that mean we can do it? <laughs> Make an insight check. <laughs> I sincerely don't know. <laughs> I hate this is the part that I hate being that I hate being a robe. Because <laughs> I because me, Christina, cannot physically like come up with the words to persuade someone. Well. Wow. It's very hard for me. Okay. What am I rolling? Insight. <laughs> great 14 14 um you take that little nod from you know you you're you've been a spy before you can get you can pick up little ticks and nods and things like that um and you think that the nod that minerva is giving you is yeah go ahead tell them that that price is fine is it? <laughs> is that what you're saying? Okay. Oh, I know exactly what she's She doesn't actually mean you can have that much. She's yeah, a- okay. absolutely not. Okay, we can say that. I think that, I think that, uh, something around that, in that range could be, could be done. Make a persuasion check. Sorry, you don't have anything blocking anymore, so. <laughs> Six. <Yeah. laughs> Isabel. <clears throat> Sorry. I was going to say simple math. Come on, it's two numbers. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Um... She kind of eyes you up and down for a moment. She's like, you wouldn't happen to be giving me a higher price than what you can afford, are you? I don't think that could ever happen. (laughs) Oh, so you are quite well off then. (laughs) Me personally, no. But, (laughs) but... (laughs) You're doing great! (laughs) The one that would be paying for the job to be done is... Which is who? (laughs) (laughs) We have a sponsor who wishes to remain anonymous. But we are assured that you will receive that amount of money. I just didn't want to spend what would have been more than necessary. Now you are speaking my language. Very good. Um, I can set up a meeting. Um, you said you're looking for, um, someone to be eliminated, perhaps? Yes. So an assassin, then. Very good. 
Uh, that would bring us. We need wow. an assassin. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Everyone. No, first. we were like crazy. Like, like, we didn't. We didn't want to be like so like upfront about it, and she's just like, oh, so you. Well, need she's in her little corner. Okay. No one's around. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> she's confused. She's like, you need someone dead, right? <laughs> oh, uh, I, I, sure. <laughs> good. We kill people here. Good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell anyone else. Do you need me to kill that guy for you? Because I will totally kill that guy for you. So she looks, she looks to you, the two of you, and she says, Would you like to meet with uh, the assassin personally, or would you like to meet with the boss? Well, it depends <clears throat> on the location of the meeting. Well, the what meeting, the meeting with his only one location, my dear. Oh, any of them will meet you in an abandoned mithril mine, uh, two layers down from here. Uh, if you take the the, uh, the the pathway to the mines, it would be the third cave entrance that you would want to take. Not suspicious at all. <laughs> well, you're meeting an assassin, so <laughs> it should be <clears throat> yes, discreet. <laughs> Every time she says the word assassin, Tito's looking at Zoxa so like, yeah, I'd like to get her ass in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so she says, I will make contact, and she kind of touches the, the gem, the black gem that's around her neck, and she says, um, when would you be available to meet with them? As soon as possible. Very good. Please excuse me a moment. She kind of like motions for you to leave her alleyway. You you see her turn, and as she is, she lifts up the necklace and kind of turns and begins to speak into it. Does she have anything in her shop? She doesn't have a shop. Oh, she's, she's just literally just chilling in an alleyway. It's just the shadows. Yeah, <laughs> she's chilling in the shadows. <laughs> she's next to a shop. Yeah, she's next. She's in between a shop and the great staircase. Yeah, she's like in a, in a small thing. So she kind of ushers you away, and you kind of meet back up with the other two. Any conversation you'd like to have while she's busy communicating? Oh, did you mention if you wanted to meet with the assassin or the boss? Right. Um, at that question, I look to Blanc and I just raise my eyebrow. Probably the boss. Sweet, the boss. Okay. So now you guys can have your conversation while she's chatting away. The boss is the one to meet with. That was the yeah, match. like <laughs> if we meet with the assassin, like, how are we gonna like find anything out? He's just gonna be like, "All right, what job do you do you want done?" Oh, you don't actually want a job? Okay, <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye, and then kills all of us right away. <laughs> And then the live stream ends. Yep, <laughs> it's over. Go home. Join us next week when we have all new characters. <laughs> <laughs> it begins an entirely new adventure. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we, we can group up um, and talking very quietly. Mm. Very quietly. Mm. Yes, sorry. People well, can see was... you yawn now. I know. <laughs> was that actually you? or? Was that... Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, Plonk is so bored with this <laughs> dangerous <laughs> mission. <laughs> Gonna go talk to the oh. boss of this assassin. Oh! <laughs> oh day's work. Assassin, whatever. Yeah. All right. Anything you want to chat about yes. in the interim? So we are going to be meeting with the boss of this organization. It's going to take place in a discreet location down. That away, I point to where she said the codes were. <laughs> I'm assuming that's down the stairs yeah. she was next to. Yeah, mm-hmm. two layers down. Yeah. Yes. So, so should we go one layer down now and wait a little bit and then go the second layer? I think we should wait to leave until our contact here tells us that we need to figure out what exactly we're going to do when we meet the boss. I believe we need to be prepared for an ambush just okay. in case. Good idea. Should we? I have no spells for that. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, we should be ready, and by we, so yeah, about me. <laughs> you guys need to be ready for an ambush. I'll be there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I will so, be present. <laughs> we need to figure out a way to use the boss as a ticket in 
to where they might be holding any sort of prisoners. I don't think that asking him to let us go in there is going to go very well. Then we could take him as our prisoner. Might just be Campbell's volume up a little bit because the masks. Then we could take <laughs> him <laughs> as <laughs> our <laughs> prisoner. <laughs> Yeah, I know you're whispering, but no, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll say <laughs> I'm whispering before I'm whispering. I just speak. Yeah. All right, so. And now, while you're discussing this, um, Minerva, as you are talking and whatnot, you feel a hand just on your shoulder, and you can feel warmth kind of lick up the back of your neck. <laughs> and she's there. She's there. She's like, "Hi, hello. Uh, a meeting has been set. Thank you. Maybe uh, it should be in about." Um, Two hours' time. Perfect. They said they should be available. Don't piss him off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> say like a, a little joke. Assassin. You're like after to piss people off. <laughs> well, you pissed someone off clearly. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be like, is he out killing somebody else? <laughs> <laughs> she just blank stare. Just. <laughs> <clears throat> this is, uh, which one is the benefactor? And she points to the other two. <laughs> Tita probably doesn't even know what that word means. <laughs> it's uh, like, what the fuck? And I feel like I know that, so I'm gonna point to Tita. <laughs> <laughs> she puts out a hand. She almost withdraws if, if she was seeing your claws, and she's like, Yeah, okay, I'll go back. Okay, she okay. still puts it in, shakes. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> Thank you a, for the arrangement. Have a down payment ready. 100 of credits. Oh, of course. Don't worry. Very well. It has been a pleasure. Goodbye. Goodbye. She just turns around and walks back to her little shadow. <clears throat> Minerva, how are we going to get 100 credits? <laughs> what? Uh, I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need that. We're doing what Zoxa recommended. We're going to take him as a prisoner and use that as leverage to get inside of the camp where they might be keeping prisoners. We only needed oh! the meeting, and now we have it. We're absolutely not giving anyone any money. Because <laughs> we don't have it. It was just <laughs> 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 All right. How many credits do we actually have we in our have store? Ninety-five. So close. Hmm. Interesting. Did she actually touch my pizza earlier? Yeah, she shook her hand. I'm probably just looking at my hand because I still think she's so hot. So just, like I was like, because uh, I was just like so frozen. I love how you think she's so hot, but you don't talk to her at all. Yeah. Hello, I spilled coffee on Kit. Clearly, I know nothing of nothing. Was just, she was like, yeah. oh, hello, and I was like, yeah. You don't have coffee on you right now, though, do you? What? You don't have coffee on you right now, though, No. I'm literally looking at my pincer, though, just like, like, because she touched me. I'm just going to, like, I'd, like, just pat you on the back. <laughs> Uh, I would say at this point as well, your antennas have kind of started oh, I'm to, to pop okay. up. It's it's a li- on this side. They're half, half. Yeah, it, at this side where the stairs go down, it is definitely <clears throat> hotter than when you first came in the entrance. Maybe like eighty five degrees, and you don't have that breeze either coming from Iscardo's okay. point because you're on the opposite side. <clears throat> so, right, so, I was gonna say, what's the plan? Two hours. Let's let's get out of here before my spell wears off. We can at least get some more air. Outside. Unless you want to stay in the market for any reason. Tita doesn't want to leave because he probably wants to smoke. We have two hours, so he's, he's, mm-hmm. he's like, mm-hmm. this place. <clears throat> so, that, uh, that's all? If, if we somewhere. didn't... If, if we wanted to show them that we did have the money for whatever reason, I believe I have a way of doing really? that. Oh. Well, we let's, would at let's... least need a few credits okay. to show. However, I can make it look like we have more. Let's go outside the market and talk about this. 
So would you like to leave the market through the main entrance, or would you like to start heading up or down one of the stairwells? I think just the main entrance. Okay. Oh, but I wanted to look at the shiny things. We're getting, we can get something after. The amount of contempt in her. <laughs> <laughs> after the job is done, then we can look. Because if we look now, you're just going to see it, and then you're going to get sad when we can't get it right now. Especially since a lot of the shops are closed. Because it's the rest day. You can look in the window as we walk by. <laughs> we always have to just look in the window because we always have no money <laughs> <laughs> alright so you head to the main entrance okay so it takes you a few minutes to get over there your uh, invisible whatever the unseen oh, yeah, still, there. still there you probably get another 10-15 minutes of him, and you make your way to the entrance, um, and you can pass through the ivy, and that's a um, strong smell of eucalyptus. And yeah, you can head out to the. There's a. It's kind of like a. It's the edge of a cliff, but it's kind of open. It's it's yeah. maybe like 15 feet across, um, and it's just kind of open area, and then it yeah. sheer drop down. Are we in the water? Uh, from where you are now, no, it would be. Sheer drop, and you'd land on like another level of this uh, guard, and then you could roll and then fall down into uh, Muspelheim. Okay. Yeah. Are we alone? Right before you? Yeah. There, yeah there, you see Tritons every once in a while picking up some trash around you and whatnot, but yeah, there's there's no one really around besides them. All right, so I'm just gonna reach into my pouch. <laughs> I don't know, like one of those pre rolls that I bought. Ooh, gonna... there's one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna drop the disguise. Okay. Plunk, are you keeping yours on? Mm. Yeah. Okay. What what disguise? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so have at it. Make uh, make some plans. So I'm just gonna I'll, sit here silently. And... I'll uh, disband my servant <gasps> also. Okay. Because I I don't need him at this point. I've been reading in my book. I don't think I've actually used this one yet, so it makes sense. There's a spell I have. It casts an illusion. I can make a sound or an image. Okay. Well, the thing with credits is they're stored on a card. It's not like a pile of coins. It's a little metallic a chip. Hmm. Hmm. If you were to swipe it in a machine, could you make the number that appears say a hundred? But also, I'm not that is an interesting question. Mm-hmm. Uh, would I be able to? It it, it's it's minor illusion. It creates an image of an object. So I don't know if I'd be able to. You could try to make a false. A you could try to make a false image on something. Sure. Okay. Obviously, the person you're trying to fool can make a save against yes. your your DC, but yeah, my wonderfully high DC. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so we got a, 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 a semblance of a plan. So I don't even know if we're going to get that far, though. Honestly, I think that I think oh. almost immediately we need to find a way to knock him out and tie him up. I suggest that it not be immediate. Why? Because I don't think the boss would come to meet us Alone? on his own. Okay. So until whatever, whatever his guards leave, we wait until the, then. We need some kind of signal to act. Okay. It could just be a word. It could be a word. Uh, what would what could that word be? <laughs> <laughs> well, it should be a word that's easily worked into a sentence, but not one that we say so often, so that it can be mistaken for the code. Meanwhile, I'm looking off, smoking my things, <laughs> 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 so I'm like looking at the paper, like, "Wow, stupid!" 
Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm like, I can't my kids there, so I'm like, <laughs> you just snap in half. <laughs> it could be Genevieve. It could be Genevieve. We could mention. Our you definitely pick up on the name Genevieve. They're saying Genevieve, and I'm like, I know, guys, I miss her too. <laughs> <laughs> Our sponsor's name is Genevieve. And when we say her name, that is the code word for us to. I mean, we can go. Everyone over get us. that? <laughs> what? We can go over it with the two. Tita was not <laughs> listening. So the second you're like, yes, I'm like, what? Tita turns around to you, and his once white eyes are now bloodshot. <laughs> <laughs> we can go over it with the rest of them once we get it figured out. Okay. So, we work Genevieve into the sentence somehow. And we don't want to kill him, but we want to knock him out. Yes. But guards are fair game. The guards are fair game, yes. Um, hmm. Plonk? We Plonk. need an escape plan as well. We need a way out of there. Because if we have the boss, we have, with nowhere to go, <laughs> we'll be in trouble. We will. Well, I mean... Hopefully once we have the boss and he is conscious and sees himself being, I don't know, held at sword point, he will just take us to where we want to go or else he'll die. <clears throat> but if he has a little bit more will than that, which I am suspecting he will since he's the boss of the current organization, we might need to come up with another way to get him to where we need to go. And first things first, does anyone have any rope? I do. I do. Good. I, um... <laughs> Just needed to make sure. <laughs> Be a little embarrassing getting that far without it. <laughs> I might have a little bit of an idea of how at least... If, okay, if we knock him out, if we tie him up, and if... The threat of his imminent death still doesn't make him cooperative. I have a little bit of an idea on how maybe he can at least lead me to where we need to go. I'll be wearing the disguise when we meet him, but I can always drop it. And last time I saw him, he was quite angry. <coughs> and it seems like... <clears throat> I don't know. It, it seems like the organization might at least want to punish me for something. So if I'm led back, kidnapped? I mean, if I'm led back to them, it could at least get me inside. If we have no other option. But you're the only one that knows where stuff is here. How would we find you? I mean, I have an idea of that too. <laughs> a whisper on the wind <laughs> No, a, a totally random stranger walks by with his duster. <laughs> oh, Jeez, oh, we forgot about Cooper. My unseen servant can follow her. <clears throat> As he is unseen. However, I must stay within 60 feet of him. So, you would essentially have to be following us very quietly. Being quiet is not my area of expertise. I have an idea. <laughs> Why don't everyone go up to talk to him, and I sneak up behind him and and hit him over the head? I think that would be fantastic for knocking him out, or just wondering what to do if. And then we tie him up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and then what? <laughs> yeah, I, I like it. Keep going. And then we hit him again! Alright, so... <laughs> <laughs> anyway! I don't know what else! It's okay. So, we've gotten that far. I didn't before. think you guys were going to say yes! <laughs> we, we already agreed to do that much. <laughs> oh. You have not been paying attention. <laughs> Sorry, I saw a rock. <laughs> I'm crying over here. Alright, so now that we're all on the same page, we knock him out. We've all 
are we? Because, like, I'm totally stoned now. So oh. All right, here is the official plan thus far. We wait for his guards to leave. We knock him out. Most likely going to be done by you using some Hit him over the head. Sneaky stuff. Do not kill him. Knock him out. We tie him up. I, <laughs> upon him waking up, I'm going to, I don't know, hold a sword to his neck. I don't know. And they can think that we could kill him. Unless he leads us back to where they're keeping their prisoners. There are two ways it can go from here. Either he leads us, or he refuses, and we need another way to get in. And in that case, that is where I'm suggesting a last resort could be that I drop my disguise, and he might take me back as a prisoner. <clears throat> so then I'd be on the inside. I but have one problem with that Can we take everybody? Plan. And that is the problem. I can hold him off in a fight while you run. And if there are more guards outside... <laughs> I'm the one getting kidnapped, just run. This sounds like a horrible idea. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a horrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, I like the hitting him good. over the head idea. That is already the idea. <laughs> We will do that no matter that, what. That much is confirmed so far. <laughs> that is the only solid piece of the plan. <laughs> Meanwhile, I look at Zox and like, I swear I didn't want to smoke anything. <laughs> <laughs> I just like haven't been paying attention at all to what any of you are talking about. I'm just like... What, I, you haven't? No, I, I go in and I say something and then I just kind of like... <laughs> so now, there's so many, there's so many different sights and sounds and smells. Mm. Oh, no, you're valid. You're so valid. <laughs> Absolutely. So many different things. But, all right. If there are other guards on the outside, <laughs> is that something the three of you could fight through while I'm being kidnapped? I do. Well, I'm looking I'm at the two of you because I'm, I'm holding. Not the I'm holding my joint, but I take the other three hands and like fake thumbs up hits her at you. <laughs> Look like I got you. <laughs> okay. Do we have any other plans aside from that? I don't like the idea of abandoning our leader. Well. Uh, I have no other plan. Well. It's not like... I don't know, it's, it's not like there's one person that has to decide everything. Like, I didn't really get asked if I wanted to do this, so. We have no way of tracking you. No. Unless you follow the person, the boss. But... <laughs> Maybe I can attempt to leave a trail for you. I'm not sure how I would do that, though. Plonk. Do you think? <laughs> Plonk. The answer is no. There's no thinking there's, that happens. There's no thoughts in there. Just rock. <laughs> do you think you would be able to hide so that if... This plan goes off. You can follow them. You're the sneakiest of us. I love to hide. Good. So you must hide until you see her being taken. And then you follow her. Cautiously. By myself? You're going to have to. Okay. <laughs> I didn't think that would work that well. Right, well, the two of you are going to need to be able to handle yourselves getting out of there, then. Will Is you be able to defend me? I'm still smoking. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just... How um, fast can you run? Very fast. Um, how, wait, how heavy well, is he? So can, can I. Can I kick him on? 120 pounds, maybe? I have expeditious retreat. Well, I just don't think I pick him up because I can go. I can move fast. With expeditious retreat, he can move pretty much the same speed as you. So then he doesn't. Then he can just go for a run. Exactly. <clears throat> I think 
This is the best plan we have What's your... for our capabilities. Okay. So... And this is the plan that we do if he doesn't lead us there himself. Yes. Which he probably won't. He probably won't. So... We'll go over it once more. Everyone's jobs here. As I'm just like... <laughs> The we very go. end in life is <laughs> We all it's go to meet him. It's a roach. Yeah. We stay in the room. We stay in the room until his guards leave. Until his guards leave. We make conversation with him. Bless <coughs> you. you. Bless you. Oh no. Gesundheit. <laughs> They don't want to sneeze in this mask. No, I don't. No, really, you, very no. interesting. <laughs> 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 I just had to do it all over. Okay. Um, so, you have a, a semblance of a plan. <clears throat> We should finish going over it one more time. I was gonna say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that, and then we'll. Uh... Maybe Plonk should hide the entire time. I like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So Plonk, you're hiding the entire time. We go to meet him. We wait until the guards leave. We can make casual conversation until they leave, if there are any guards. Once the guards are gone, I'm going to work Genevieve into a sentence. The word Genevieve is the code for you to whack him over the head. And then Dita's just like, why do you keep saying it? Because like, he's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, taps the pouch because he's got the little lip <laughs> Oh, I forgot head. about that. Oh, he's God. saying the pouch. He's Ooh. like, it's okay, girl. Oh, he's like, like, yeah. Honk, you cannot kill him. But I can throw a rock at his head. <laughs> of course, but that might not knock him out right away. The rock is like this big. Plunk just takes a brick and <laughs> She's like, what about this? She's like trying to lift a boulder that's like bigger than her. <clears throat> okay. What am I hitting him over the head with? I don't know, like the back of your dagger maybe? So that you don't pierce him. I have to use my pickaxe. Okay. You shouldn't need to. Well, <laughs> if we have to fight people, then yes. <laughs> if we have to fight people, please do use your pickaxe. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so then we're He's only angry at me. He doesn't know who the rest of you are, and I, I, I don't know who he is, but he seems angry at something I did. And he would have no reason to keep us around. You don't need to get caught up in Oh, great! Right. So we don't get kidnapped, we'll just get killed! Exactly. So that's, that's why, why we me. run. <sighs> Alright. Plans? Plans have been made? Are you making your way to the Great Stairwell? Yes. It's been two hours, I Well, it hasn't been two hours, but it's going to take some time to get there and find the place, so. Oh. All right, so we're going to take a quick break then, right there. <laughs> uh, we have a t-shirt giveaway to do. The special word, the word of the day, is obsidian. It is O-B-S-I-D-I-A-N. That is the t-shirt you'll be winning, but it doesn't have to be purple. It can be any color you want it to be, pretty much. Um, and yeah, we are going to only run one segment of the bios today, so we can, you know, quick bath and break and get around a snack, but then we're going to level up live for you, uh, to level four. So, uh, we will see you very shortly. (laughs) What do you want to know about me exactly? My name is Minerva, I come from the planet Isgard, and I'm very good at finding things. That's about it. Alright, fine. I'll explain a little bit more. I'm not necessarily a bounty hunter, but I do travel across the galaxy in pursuit of different targets. The galaxy is a very big place. There are many wondrous things, of course, but with the good, sometimes comes the bad. I eliminate the bad before it becomes a larger problem. I work for an organization called the Galactic Utility Intelligence Logistics Task Force, also known as GILT. Great name, huh? 
We're a rather undercover group, inconspicuously keeping watch over the many planets, pinpointing any threats that may arise and disrupt the safety of civilians. The majority of guilt is essentially a surveillance system that relays information back to our leader. However, when a threat to the people does arise, be it an angry monstrosity or an ancient fiend, that's when my team intervenes. We are a subset of GILT, known as the Special Protection Investigative Tactical Exploration Team, or the SPIKE Team for short. There are six ACMR on this team, including myself, each one of us with a different skill set. I contribute the ability to track down our target once we're in its proximity. I'm not bad with a blade or two, either. Working with the team is alright. I wouldn't call all of them friends, but they are the people I'm closest to. Whenever we're not investigating a galactic threat, we're most likely just passing time on our starship. For me, this mostly means I'm in our training room, running through various simulations to keep my skills in good condition. I also enjoy a good game of cards every now and then. However, for some reason I'm always quite bad at trivia night. So, I guess I'm supposed to be like... <coughs> talking about myself or whatever. I mean, I don't know, Green. I'm pretty boring. All I do is work and blow glass pipe. I mean, with that, I smoke a ton of moss in my off hours. Pretty much working all the time, though. Come from a long line of Vaders. Uh, that means excavators? My family has worked with a deep organization for like hundreds of aeons. Oh, I should probably tell you what the spell that is, huh? Deep stands for the Discovery, Excavation, and Expansion of Pandemonium Passageways. We're a little more progressive than those other Vaders, the dry green hierarchy of excavation mining. No one wants to work for them. Frown pieces of friend. Oh, sorry, shouldn't be swearing, Green. So, back to my job. I mean, I'm pretty good at it. Kinda hard not to be when you've been basically bred for it. Got my great granddad t sip pickaxe right here. You probably wouldn't think by looking at me, but I'm a little quicker than most. Even got promoted to work dust detail. That's the development of the underground super tunnels. I know, far out, right? One time I got off draft, Green. Came out in this crazy big moss patch. Totally wild. Met this Formian. Thrives and boards don't usually buy green. I dig him though. We grew close. He's the Dren. The real Frelin Dren. Growing up, I lived in the small clan of Verdun. My ancestors were goblins who left their planet to live amongst elven communities. The relocation was hard for them. It took a while getting used to their new planet. But once they got the hang of farming, it was all uphill from there. I was never as good of a farmer as they were though. All I wanted to do was play. Hide and seek or swing. It's kind of like capture the bomb. Those are my favorite. I love the adrenaline I get from a good hunt. Waking up to your farmhouse engulfed in flames in the middle of the night, all you can do is run. When my village of Mandrakta was destroyed by a swarm of ravenous pixies, I had no idea if I would even survive. Racing out of my smoke-filled home I grew up in, I ran straight to the barn. Mom always taught me to keep a pack of supplies ready in case anything happened. Just grab your pack and go, she'd always say. So I did. And a good thing that I did too. Disappearing quickly was what saved my life. Since then, I've lost all contact with my family. I don't even know if they're alive. The small group of us that got out went to live in the closest elven city, Mithrandir. This is my home now. And I have to say, it was tough getting accustomed to the way of life here. They're not a farming community, so it was hard to find work. I didn't know what I was good at. I thought back to my time in Mindrocktown and what I enjoyed back then. Then it hit me. I love the thrill of the chase. I can do that. Becoming a spy is the best thing that's ever happened to me. But I have to say, it's a little bittersweet. Working for the royal families, doing a job I love, is like a dream come true. I couldn't be happier, but I'm only able to do so because of the misfortune of my village. I'm hoping my hard work will make my ancestors proud. Cycle 12. Strange looking creatures appeared today in the North City Square. These aliens called themselves elves. Their pointy ears and flowing hair intrigued me. They speak of different lands, impossible lands. Those without water, or those filled with fantastic creatures. I must learn more about them. Cycle 39. Each cycle since the arrival of the elves, the Dalkin people have attempted to duplicate their extraordinary effects, but to no avail. I reach my 40th cycle soon. Finally, 
I will be able to leave my own studies. Cycle 66. Without the elves' odd tricks, we have now resorted to building our own way to travel to other planets. The technology they seem to have is many cycles out of our reach. Even so, I believe there are other ways off this planet. Cycle 100. My excavation begins today at Zerathu City Ruins. Managing to rope in both Fudila and Zigzat into my hypothesis, I have much to discover. Not even the elves know what lies beyond the impossible depths. I know I will find answers there. And welcome back. Uh, before we get back into the game, everyone's going to be leveling. So real quick, we're first going to go around the table. Everyone's going to roll their dice for hit points. So if we want to start with you, Tita. Oh, what am I doing? Sorry. And while you're rolling, I do want to say, hey, uh, about the t-shirt, I forgot to tell you how to win it. Aaron. What? Oh, I know I'm a terrible person. So I'm going to tell you right now, uh, you're going to enter the keyword obsidian, O-B-S-I-D-I-A-N, into the chat only once, or you're disqualified. Um, and we will give you two, maybe a, a minute or two before we're done uh, with leveling up, and then I'll announce the winner. So, Tita, what did Wait, you what roll? I'm sorry. You're rolling a D8 for your hit points. Um... The tetrahedron. The tetrahedron. Uh, no, it's not. It's which, <laughs> it's which one do I want to use? Oh, oh God, I hate that. Good call. I hate it. They used to yell that at me all the time. Oh. I'm like, I'm which like, one's the D8? The one's tetrahedron. D8? Everyone. R tetrahedron. RIP. <laughs> Four. Four. So it's going to be, f you can add that into your total hit points. Ah. It should automatically add your constitution modifier, which I believe is two for you. Uh, uh, do, um, um, instead yeah. of that, go to edit. Character. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's great that you're just stretching your COVID filled arm. <laughs> I just washed my hands. <laughs> and then right there, do level three to four. And then it'll add the, the one for the level and then hit All right. Range. And while that's happening, Minerva, opposite side, let's have you roll some dice. All right. You got a d10. d10. All right. So I've got a three. I do have a question, though. Yeah. I know there's the, it says like one d10 and then in parentheses or six plus your constitution. So before you roll, you can choose to either roll or take the six. No, now you're at four. So it overrid it. So I'm going to add three plus my con. Mm -hmm. right, so the con again adds automatically. I can't find the one that I'm I was looking for. Oh, right there. Oh, the feet. Yeah. Which is what mobile? No, it's the other one. The other one. <laughs> Sentinel. Sentinel. Yeah. It's definitely in there. Hundred percent. I'll find it. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, Zoxa, what'd you get? Or yeah, hit points? Yeah. I got one. Reroll. Okay, I got four. Okay, so that's three extra hit points total. Hooray! Zoxa, 15! Yes! Oh yeah. my goodness. Um, yeah. I would like to give, also for the ifs, I would like to give Plonk an if um, from her fun interactions that she's been having. <laughs> 
Yay! Oh yes. Brilliant. I'd like to give Zaxa an if for being clever in using his uh, unseen servant to keep time. All right, all right. And uh, do I get anything else out at the moment? Yeah. I don't know. Um, I don't think so. I think we're going to stick with that. I have six. So everyone has rolled your hit points. Uh, no? Plonk, what do you get? So, about four. Okay. Yeah. And, then just, and then just add the four yep. to it. Yep. Okay. And then the other con automatically adds. Fantastic. So also at level four, characters get to choose to increase either two abilities or choose a feat. Um, and we're going to go around and kind of talk about that as well. Lauren, are you still trying to decide? Yes. All right, Doc, so what would you like to take as a feat or ability increase? I'm taking Keen Mind, oh, the feat. Of course you are. Fantastic. <laughs> um, yeah, so you're a very, very smart guy. I am. Would you like me to explain what Keen Mind does? Um, yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, it says, you have a mind that can track time, direction, and detail with uncanny precision. It's almost as if this would have been useful five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> you gain the following benefits. <laughs> Increased intelligence score by one to a maximum of 20. I'm not near the maximum, so it goes up by one. Um, you always know which way is north. You always know the number of hours left before the next sunrise or sunset. You can accurately recall anything you have seen or heard within the past month. Oh, I hate this feat. <laughs> <laughs> Why ever would you hate it? It's one of, like, the three DM Bane feats that there are out there. Plonk! Oh, what are the other two? Oh, I'm not going to tell you that. <laughs> um, I have chosen a feat. Oh, good. I have chosen uh, Sentinel. Ooh. All right. Yeah. You I've want to talk about Sentinel? Sentinel? Yeah. Uh, when you hit a creature with an opportunity attack, the creature's speed becomes zero for the rest of the turn. Creatures provoke opportunity attacks from... What? Creatures provoke <laughs> opportunity attacks from you even if they take the disengage action. When a creature within five feet of you makes an attack against a target other than you, you can use your reaction to make a melee weapon attack against the attacking creature. Cool. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Minerva, you decided to go a different route, right? Yeah, so I have increased some of my ability scores. I increased strength and dexterity. So now I have a strength modifier, which is great. And now my dexterity modifier is a plus four. All right, <laughs> nice. Tita, what have you decided on? Um, I decided on martial adept. Martial adept. And then I got Ooh. to pick two like yeah, benefits. Yeah. So I picked maneuvering attack and pushing attack. What do those do? The maneuvering attack is um, I can expand one superiority die to maneuver one of my comrades into a more advantageous position. Ooh. Um, and then there's other things that go with like the damage roll and all that. Um, and then the pushing attack is if I hit a creature with a weapon attack, I can uh, do the superiority die to drive the target back. Okay. So your superiority die is a d6. <clears throat> Um, and you get one of those per short or long rest. Okay. So it means you can use one of those maneuvers or one of those, um, nice. yeah, uh, once per short rest. Okay, so we've got all of that. Um, Andy, are you ready for some totals real quick? Uh, yeah. All right, so Tita has how many hit points now? 27. 27. And did that feat increase any of your ability scores? I don't um, think so. No, I don't think so. Okay. Um... No, oh, no. Yeah, All right, so okay. Tita's at 27, and nothing else should be changing on her sheet. Unless, what does her AC show on there? Uh, 15. Should be 17. Okay. <clears throat> Tita, what are you at now? 15? Uh, I am Zoxa. <laughs> I keep, I don't know why I do that all the time. Zoxa. Zoxa. My health is at 15, and my intelligence is now at 16, which brings me to a plus 3. All right, you got that, Andy? Uh, has your AC changed? No. Uh, no. No one else is Still changed. a nine. Oh, actually, my nine is yours changes, yeah. Alright, hold on one sec. Yeah. Okay, and your intelligence went up to... 16. Or plus three. Yes. Which I think is what we have over there. I'm not sure. 
Um, okay. okay. Uh, Plonk, what's your new total hit points? Can you do the nerve first? Sure, <laughs> Minerva, what's your total hit points? Alright, total hit points, 41. 41? Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a beast. D10, that D10 hit die. Yeah. <laughs> and that plus three constitution. Um, and then your, you said your so, strength and dex went up. Yes, yeah, so strength is now a total of 12, so plus one modifier, and then dex is a total of 18 plus four modifier, which makes my armor class now 15. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, so my armor class didn't change. Um... I just added the D8 that I rolled to it. Did I have to add anything else? Nope, that automatically should add in. You were at 27 before. What are you at now? Yeah, I'm at 31. What's your constitution modifier? Plus two. Mm. What did so you roll? You roll? I rolled a four. So it didn't add in her con modifier for some reason. You can just override the max HP. For now, for now, yeah, and I'll look at it later. Okay. Maybe I did it wrong. Probably. I could, I could, well, <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding. Probably. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, so, like, so, so your total is 30, was 33. Because I, I did override HP and put in 31. I'll just look at it after. Okay, so it should be... Oh, yeah. It should be 33. 33. All right, how's it looking over there, Andy? Um, who got the extra? Uh, who got the extra fragments? It was Me. Plonk and Zaxa. So they both have six. Yep, correct. And everyone else should have five. All these failing rolls you've had today. No one thought to use I ifs. I'm saving them. That is a bank. <laughs> <thing. laughs> you bank it. All right. So now that we have gotten all that out of the way, the four of you. Begin to head down. Uh, hold on. Oh, not done yet. Oh, wait, sure. yeah. T-shirts. T-shirts. I'm just forgetting T-shirts left and right. <laughs> Do we have a winner, sir? Um, I'm gonna, I'll have you roll. Two oh. people entered. Oh, great. So roll whatever. Yep. Uh, we'll go top is even and bottom is odd. Okay, here we go. That's an even. Even, that is Rob App. Rob App, congratulations, Yay! Rob App. Woo! We will be emailing you to get uh, shirt size and color. Um, and uh, yeah, congratulations. We <clears throat> getting one of our fantastic shirts. Um, so let us jump back in Ooh. to reserve inspiration D and D. You yes, you also gain that extra thing that uh, we've discussed. So. Minerva, you're leading your team now down this great fiery staircase, um, and it's not, there walk. isn't fire specifically coming off of it or anything, but as you are walking deeper and deeper, you can just see the heat in the air. Yeah, and then um, the Genasi lady said that it was the third cave, the third passage on the left. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, once we get to, like, the bottom of this staircase, I'm just going to, and turn back into, like, that moon elf-looking creature. Okay. Anything want, anyone want to do anything else on the way there? Okay. So, the four of you make your way down the stairs, and it, like I said, it's getting hotter and hotter. Tita, your antenna, not as, as uh, pointy and straight as they were when you were in the Great Inferno, but it's getting hot. They're starting to, yeah, starting to extend. Um, and you make your, your way down this first case, and you come to another massive cavern. Um, this one, all you can hear is just loud metal on metal. Um, and you can see different shops, not, not shops, but more like uh, blacksmiths set up all around um, this area. And the staircase continues down as I'm just well. going to like whisper like, to Tita as we're going, uh, Tita, if this plan doesn't work, this might be a good place for you to get a job if, if you need to. 
I'm definitely just looking around at all the things, just kind of. Like... Yeah, there's there's probably <clears throat> at least in this area probably twelve different smiths, um, all different types of metal works. Um, so I'm doing like this, the, I'm looking this way. This floor this way. doesn't look like it's a mining area though. This is more once they have the materials, the crafting of them. Okay. But that is where you are at the moment. There, like I said, that you can go back up, or there's another staircase going down. I guess we should go back down, right? And continue going. Yeah. yeah. All right. So you continue down, and it's getting hotter and hotter as you move. You can at this point, like you were, you had you were perspiring at this point. You are all sweating. Not me. Not you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just straight up in, in the air. Like picking up those radio us. signals again. <laughs> Although maybe not because we're in the mountain. <laughs> I open my mouth and like music starts coming. <laughs> <laughs> so now you come down to this area and there aren't as many buildings. There's only like a couple small shacks kind of built off to the side. Um, and this area is not a big open area. It's more... It, tunnels that kind of jut off in different directions. Um, there's Whoa. one. Some tunnels. <laughs> there's one main. There's one main tunnel. Um, there's a couple of shacks on the sides. There's uh, equipment like uh, hard hats and pickaxes and things like that. What are what is the what is the like the walls and stuff like made out of the, the wall? It's it's the similar um, the the black and dark stone with all the little specks of that silvery metal in them. Pretty much everywhere, and the walls seem to have been picked out like this probably was just solid before and over many 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 I many years i definitely want to be like like can i be touching the oh, wall yeah, and stuff yeah. absolutely like, yeah, yeah yeah it's uh the the wall is i'm admiring their work <laughs> <what's happened. laughs> the wall is very warm um this <laughs> is <Ooh. laughs> <laughs> um but yeah so you, it's a bunch of tunnels ahead of you um did, did the lady mention, like, how many staircases we were going down? She said two levels. Two, okay, right, so. No, there's, yeah, there are no additional staircases going. Okay. This is the lowest level of okay. uh, the mountain at this point. Yeah, and then it was third tunnel on the right. Make an intelligence check, because that's not what you said a second ago. <laughs> I was just going to say. Listen, I'm thinking about so many different things. <laughs> Plonk, did she say the left or the right? Oh, great. <laughs> you know what might help in this instant? You know what might help in this instant? Keen mind? Being able to recall <laughs> what was said, seen, or heard within the past month. Exactly. You know, today. You know what you heard today? What did I hear? You heard that Fire Genasi say two levels down, the third tunnel on the left. Ooh. Third tunnel on the left. Gotcha. Sorry, I just. <laughs> but I thought she said the right. She you... said the left. I thought she said the right. We're going left. Fine, mom. <laughs> He's always right. He's no, it's left. <laughs> <laughs> So you continue. You pass by the first. You pass by the second, Can and you eventually anything, come like to a that third. Them? Uh, looking, kind of looking down each tunnel, all the ones closer to where you are, closer to the staircase, seem like they are wiped clean of any type of material that may have been found inside. These are old tunnels that have they've kind of they're not boarded up or anything by any means, but it's just they look just empty. Can I, can I get anything if I, like, scratch the wall? Like, does anything come off? Like a little flex? Yeah. Like a little flex. But it's there's no veins or anything that you can be mining. It's just a little flex okay. at the moment. Um, so, you come to... if uh, Andy, if you'd like to put the map cam on... I don't know how well you can see this from here. But you are... You just stepped into that third tunnel. And this is where you currently are. That there tunnel. What? That there tunnel. This is the third tunnel. This is what. This we is see. the third. Yes, you um, passed by two, and this is the third one. Yep. I look so ready for action. Right. <laughs> so. All right. So maybe we can just walk forward a little, see if there are any like little crannies or nooks. How well lit is this tunnel? 
It's pitch black. Great. Well, I can't see anything I at all. Say, so well, yeah, I'm gonna I can see a little bit. Yeah, I have the light cantrip that if you know I register that it's like completely dark and like we can't really see. I'm just going to. Um, I'm wearing like a like in this disguise. I have like a bracelet, and I'm just gonna tap it, and it's gonna light up that blue light. Okay. So you can all see about <clears throat> twenty feet in bright light, and another. 15, 15 feet, I think, in bright light, and 15 feet in dim light. So you can see about 30 feet as you're all moving through here. Um, and you can see from where you are that uh, the it looks like there might be two tunnels that it breaks off um, coming up. It kind of breaks off here, and then up this way as well. I don't know where everyone would like to be placed, but... Uh. I'm going to be closest to the light. Okay, so Minerva. <laughs> right on, Minerva. I, I, I seriously, I can't see a thing. Mm. So. Yeah? Neither can I. Yeah. <laughs> I'll stay furthest away from Minerva because I have dark vision, so I can probably with her light. Probably so I'll okay. stay behind uh, Minerva as well. So everyone's kind of behind Minerva. Wow, Data falls over. Dead, dead. <laughs> um, and uh, as is, you come to these two tunnels, is Tita um, actually that much taller than the rest of us? Uh, kind of. I believe. How tall are you? You should be. Like you can seven, get to like seven, seven something at the moment. I think you're about six or like okay, five yeah, something. I'm a little over. No, I think I decided I was like five ten ish. Right oh, now. so me and Zox are taller than you, though. Mm -hmm. At the moment, well, your mini does not reflect that. But I can, yeah. But I can get <laughs> yeah. to like seven feet or. I'm tiny. You stand yeah, you're the little, you're the little one over here. I am tiny compared to all of you. Now you know how I feel whenever we stand in a circle. <laughs> in real life. In, in actual real life. life. In actual life. It's everyone and. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm. All right. But I make the joke. I get yelled at, but. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so I don't know, my inclination is just like the fire genasi told us that the third tunnel is where we needed to go mm -hmm. off of that main staircase. She didn't say anything about two other tunnels or which one we should go down, so my inclination is to just wait. Hmm. Well, I wanna go down over there. Down this one here? Yeah, so I'm gonna, okay. but I can't. Not I too can't. far. You can go up to 30 feet and still kind of be able to see. Alright, so I'll go, yeah, a little bit. Well, if you want to here. investigate something, I can go with you. Okay. Right, so, <laughs> so the two of you head down this way? Um, yeah, if investigating in this direction, it kind of opens up into a large waterway. <laughs> You can see that there's some sort of webbing all over the place as you kind of near the corner. Um, can I have a perception check from the two of you? Ooh. 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 13 plus 5. 18. Ooh, nice. Six minus one, five. <laughs> Even though six Plum, is like... even with Minerva's light, you're having a tough time seeing. You can you can see that there looks like there's liquid ahead, but you have no idea like what it is. Uh, you can't make out color or anything. But Minerva, um, as you're moving in, you can see that it's a decent sized like inner volcano pond. Um, it is bubbling. It is clearly a hot spring of some sort. Um, and there are a far edge against the wall of the cavern. Um, there is where you can see kind of little glints of um, shine of a massive vein of mithril that just goes up the wall right over here. What color is it? It's like a silvery. Nice. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I guess this way just seems to be water. Don't think anything will be coming from. How much can I see with them going that way still? Um, you can you know that they're over here because of the light. No, but I'm saying in general, like in the other, like toward the corner. How this much? way? Yeah. Uh, not much because there's no light coming this way at all. 
You're kind of just in the dark. Like, he does have, have dark vision. vision. Oh, you have dark vision. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so 60 feet, you can kind of see that this continues on a bit down. I want to walk more towards that way. Okay. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I'm gonna have to sit on one leg so I can reach That's this what thing. I, just, I was like, I was like, let me just go up on one leg. Real quick. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> so, Tita, you're gonna keep moving. Well, like if, if I can see. Yeah, and, and as you're moving a little bit, you can kind of see that it ends in a bit of a wall over here, okay. and kind of curves to the right. Okay. That's where you're coming. What coming where? <laughs> he can't he see can't. you over there. He can just see the glow of Minerva's bracelet. And I'm just like... <sighs> He's, he was right next to me and I didn't even know. And then he moved away. Like, are you coming? <laughs> what? Yeah. So I will step back towards the hospital. Okay. All right. How far would you like to go? Um, well... How close do I have to be to him to see me basically back on top? Pretty much like, yeah. Alright, so can I just guide him? Yeah, yeah. Like with can, his hand? So then. You can like hold I'll on to your pants or one of your him. mini hands yeah, or I'm something. I'm gonna get him and then we're gonna, he's gonna walk back with it. Alright, so you guys head this way. Yeah. Cool. Um. Yeah, so you, as you kind of turn this corner, you see there's like a small alcove over there. Can I see them? Um, line of thing? sight. You can see the glow the coming glow. from around the corner, but you can't quite see like them. Okay. Uh, but yeah, you can see that it definitely loops back to where they are on that side. Okay. And then there's another path that continues this way. What's it right in front of me? No, no, no. In front of me, like on the side. Look, oh, over here? One? Yeah. Um, you can peer around if you'd like. No, I'm going to go into the, like, towards where the glow is. Okay. But just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you can see them. You can see the light as you're right there from Minerva. I'm like, what up, ladies? Are you two doing hey. anything? <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like, yeah. Who is where? Kind of, Zaxa, I mean, no, Zaxa. Oh, Tita, as you kind of turn the corner and you see them, the first thing that catches your eye with your passive perception, across the water, you see a massive vein of that mithril. That could be mined. Ooh. Which is also worth a lot of money. Do, would they obviously Minerva would know that? Oh yeah. So can she see that as well? Or did she yeah, have yeah, she saw it. it. Yeah. So. <clears throat> um. So then I guess I will walk up to Minerva. Obviously, taking we'll tower to over. Her. <laughs> well, at this point, I can see because the light is right oh, there. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, and then I'm gonna kind of just do one of those where, like, I look at the thing and then, like, look at you and kind of do, like, because I've got my axe. <laughs> well, the water is hot, but if you can get over there, I wouldn't stop you. Um, how hot is it? <laughs> Good. Feel it if you want. Um, can I go up like this? Awful door? idea. <laughs> I want to go to the end of it. Sure. Um, and I don't want to touch it with my person. So <laughs> good idea. Why not? Uh, <laughs> I'm like Tita, wait. So then I'm kind of doing that, like when you feel all of your pockets, because I'm trying to look for something that I can stick in there. Um. And then I guess, I don't know, I, I don't really have anything on me, so I will turn back to the group and try to do like a, Like, I'm gonna lean, but like, do I don't, I do, I don't. Maybe another time when we're not about to have a meeting. With you can, you can kind of like boss. hover your hand over and it, oh, it feels good. hot from above, but not like it's gonna scald you. How deep do they think that is? <laughs> That's a good question. Can you jump? Are there little, I can't, from here, oh, there's like little... Things. Yeah, there's a, there's a few stepping stones here. Can and there. I use my like leapy thing? Your your leapy thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can leap. My standing leap. Yeah, yeah. So can I leap over to it? Yeah. To the side, wherever you yeah, Easy. As you're hopping, you can kind of see that there's um, some slight webbing around the uh, the edges of this smaller cavern area right in the water. I'm spider right now and die in actual life. <laughs> 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 Um, he actually has brought real spiders to throw onto the map. 
<laughs> he just starts throwing them <laughs> over the parts. <laughs> oh my god, I would be out of here so fast. I would cry. <laughs> I mean, Halloween's coming. He could have bought a like, little plastic. You're right. Alright, so, yeah, I'm gonna, um... Gonna keep going. What was that noise? <laughs> oh. That was the door opening. Sorry, oh. guys. I slept outside for the weekend, so, you know, of course, my allergies are good. You're like, oh, nature. <laughs> um, so, yes, I will. Uh, um. Okay. I will. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go forward. Again. You know what that <laughs> box sound means. You make another. Oh, leap. Okay. And then I'm gonna turn back to the group and then <laughs> be like, <laughs> "Cause like I haven't died yet." Minerva just like the nervous like thumbs up. <laughs> Um, I can't see you. And, like, her disguise, like, has, like, a face, so there are facial expressions, and she's like... <laughs> <laughs> um, so then, I, yeah, I guess I'll jump all the way to the side where the thing is. All right, yeah, so you leap right over here. Nice, That's where the stuff is? Nice right? big vein. Let me throw right there. Okay. Oh, no. I'm waiting for the... And when you do... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, can I feel it up first? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like... Oh, it is. It's It's thick. So <laughs> it's feels. probably about three and a half feet long. You don't know how deep it goes in, obviously, but it's a pretty big chunk. Um, so, so deep. So can, I'm gonna like I don't know. I feel like if I was like a tunnel person, I would like claw at a little bit or something just to like. I'm, I feel like I would have some kind of like intel as far as like what it looks like and feels like and like how I'm gonna be able to take it down. So I'm gonna just investigate. Yeah, yeah, like, make an investigation. Check. My my. My needed, my needed strength, I guess. Um, so I, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna chip away at it. What they said you were making an investigation? Oh, right? I just no, yeah, like well, I mean, what are they gonna tell me? Oh great! That's It'll tell her nothing. It's gonna tell me zero. Okay, so yeah, yeah, him. There's a vein there. It's quite big, and it's cool. Scary. All right, so um, <laughs> yep, we're gonna just we'll reach back, and I will. Look at my little like family crest thing and kind of just have like a moment oh, <laughs> about yeah, like yeah. bringing it home. And then before I like swing at it, I want to like just kind of take the edge and like scratch at it and see. Like, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, scratching at the metal itself, this Mithril is, is very strong. It's very light, but it's very Does strong. Make a noise when I if it's I'm like, 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 like oh, nails on a chalkboard as you're scraping that thing. All right, and then what if I tap it a little bit? Nothing. It feels like metal. All right, I'm just gonna in a wall. I'm just gonna. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so you start <laughs> tink, tink, and not like a few moments after you start doing that, like, you hear. Oh my god! <laughs> you hear from the other side of the cavern, mine, mine, and you you kind of like look back and scurrying up the wall and the ceiling, you see. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> you see this bulbous, almost bloated, purple creature. He's got meaty back legs with two massive claws on okay. each. It's not a spider. It's not a spider. Uh, it has uh, two also fairly meaty arms, also each having two claws on the end of each one. Okay. And its face kind of comes down as if it's looking at you this way, with two big pincers on the end. Oh, so really like pincer pals. Yeah, and he's got like a, he's got a big hunchback, and he's kind of just he's got like. Oh, he's cute. Across, he no, no, um, <laughs> no, you're you, just wrong. Like, Maybe we're gonna be friends. Yeah, friends. Stop coming in. Go to some different holes, guys. <laughs> so. This creature is scurrying across the top of this thing, making his way over to you. Oh, he's cute! He is cute. And at this point, <laughs> I'd like for everyone still know, to roll initiative, please. Uh, My TV is like, you dumb chicks. He's not cute. Let's hit it. Let's hit it. What are we doing? Uh, roll initiative. initiative. That kind of sucks. All right. Don't worry, there's only one of him. <laughs> Somebody had to say it. No, no, of course. Okay. Wow. 
unnecessary, but sure. She did. Uh, 14. Hmm. 18. Yeah. Like I said, completely wow. unnecessary, because I can't see anything. <laughs> True that. Why can't you make your little thing Is that a four in total? What little thing? <laughs> the little thing you make up everywhere. The, the, R.I.P. Not one. Oh, okay. What's the total? Also, I can't make anything. Four. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, four. Minerva? I four would. But I still uh, can't make higher decks. You now, I'm assuming? Uh, plus four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're going to go for four Tita. Okay. Zaxa, you are first. Perfect. So it's completely dark over there? Completely dark over there. Tita can only hit this thing because he can see in the dark. Um, and you can just hear a creature or something like, Mang! Mang! <coughs> and starts to, uh, yeah. Sounds like fun. Okay. Uh... I'm gonna use... I'll step a little bit closer though, because I, I can see the edge of the water, right? Yeah. Because Minerva's got her. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. I'll step over there and just cast uh, Minor Illusion. Okay. And I'll go for a sound, which could be a, a range from a whisper to a scream. And I'd like to choose scream. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, hold on, I have to. What's the. Uh, what's and it's the investigation thing? check to see if they can. Oh no, but I think they have to use an action to do that. Check the sound. Yeah, the creature uses an action to examine the sound or image, uh, determine it's, it's an illusion. Alright, so what sound would you like to make? Um, so I use a bit of fleece, and it's not a verbal component, so I don't have to horribly mispronounce something. <laughs> and I would like to scream... Uh, Okay. It's mine! <laughs> like blood curdling tree. Oh, it mine can be my me. voice. So I'll just use my voice mm-hmm. and just scream, <laughs> It's not yours! <laughs> <laughs> right, now you're gonna think it's me yelling. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you'd like to do, Zaxa, as you yell this out? Uh, I mean, no, that's pretty much that's, I really can't do anything else. All right. After Zaxa, that brings us to Minerva. All right, so quick question. Mm-hmm. Um, When I cast this guy's self, like, I know that my armor and weapons just kind of, like, mold to... They're like, still they, there. They're, they're just yeah. covered up by illusion. So, like, is it going to be, like... Like, what is it going to look like, like, when I remove the crossbow? You are going to pull a crossbow out, out of, of nothing, air. out of thin awesome. air from your back. Cool. All right, so cool. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, so I mm, yes mm, yeah. All right, I'm just I'm just gonna take aim and try to try to shoot it. I guess. Something we thought it was so cute. <laughs> I do. Minerva does not. <laughs> All right, that's gonna ooh nineteen plus six. Would that fit it? Twenty <laughs> five? No, definitely not. Yes. It would. Oh, oh, you see how it is. However, <laughs> however, from where you are, uh, no, that's probably just on the outskirts of the range of the dim light, so oh, you're okay. fine, you're fine. Well, I mean, I, I have dark vision. Oh, right, so good. Yeah. It's only us two. Yeah. That's and the inner people. Well, that really that's sucks. Why, that's why I figured I had, like, such a bad... I rolled minimum damage. It takes five points of piercing damage. Yes. I, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> <laughs> it basically hits him and just bounces off. Yeah. <laughs> so this creature, uh, actually no, it's not. It's trying. Anything else you'd like to do, whatever? Uh, it's like the little bolt in its uh, its abdomen. It's like, yeah. <laughs> so, so like the bracelet <laughs> that I'm wearing, that's definitely an illusion, right? Like I can't give that to someone. It's part of the illusory. Oh, you wouldn't even have been able to cast light on an illusory oh, object. Have, you oh. could have cast it on your bracer. Oh, all right. Which would have essentially been the same thing. Okay. But. So if I take that off, can I give it to Zaxa? You can. I will say that it's going to take you time because you got to unlace a bracer. Okay, so I don't think I can do anything else with this turn then. Okay. So Alrighty, perfect. So that brings us to Tita. You're like, tink, tink. Um. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> uh, I can see this thing, obviously. Uh, yeah. 
you kind of like look back and up, and you're like, oh, he's got little claws like me. <laughs> um, like, am I frightened? Because I feel like Teach is probably just gonna keep. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't say it's necessarily. It's it's a gross looking creature, but it's not. It's not it's massively <laughs> huge or anything like that. It's just like kind of you go looking back. Your eyes kind of catch a glint of the light from Minerva, and you can see that it has six eyes. It has two larger ones, and then one small above, and one small on each side below. Okay. Um, I mean, no, I'm probably not going to care that much. Yeah, just keep going. And I'm just going to keep... That makes sense. If anything happens, like, am I hitting anything? So it's, am oh, I... yeah, you're making progress. Okay. Absolutely, yeah. So what am I doing? Like, am I picking up whatever is... Well, it's, it's one large vein. It's going to take oh, some I'm time Oh, I'm getting to... the whole thing out. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to keep doing that. Yeah, okay. Keep working on that. And now, the creature's turn. After getting hit with your your bolt, it's going to whip around. <laughs> and you see it... Thanks for the distraction! <laughs> <laughs> out of its mouth, just <clears throat> fires out this web. Right. Um, thanks! <laughs> <laughs> That is, mm, I don't think that's going to hit you. That's an 11 to hit. Oh, that doesn't do it. <laughs> oh, so, shucks. <laughs> so this web just fires out and you dodge out of the way. Actually, Plonk's right behind you. Can you make a dexterity save for Sorry, me? Sorry, Plonk. <laughs> Dip it out of the way. Sucks to be you. Can, She's can you? I don't know. Can you? I do have like a question, kind of. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> first good roll of the night. <laughs> so like I'm like I'm like glowing and stuff. Yes. Is that what it's using like to see where me and that part of the group are right now? You have let's see. Because How's your intelligence? You got a decent intelligence, right? I'm twelve. Yeah, that's deep. that's a little, a little above average. This creature lives in complete darkness. You have a feeling it can see in the dark pretty so, well. So, the thing is, though, I'm a gloom stalker, and I'm invisible to creatures that rely on dark vision to see me. Except if you have light. Except if I have light, yeah. So that's why I was, like, <laughs> so that's why I was wondering, like, can it only see me because of the light? That um, right yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then it's going to continue to move. It's... <laughs> And it gets to about here on the wall. Um, it's over here. You said a here. deck save. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, twenty one. Oh yeah. So you ju- you do the same. <laughs> you just kind of leap off to the side, and the web just <laughs> onto the I ground wanna, there. I want to say that it was like dumb luck, and I was just like, "What was that?" And like, <laughs> like, 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 oh, rock! 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 Oh, over me. <laughs> you were looking at your rock. You dropped it. You went to bed. To yeah. <laughs> you weren't even looking at anything new. You're like, oh my god, the same old rock. It's so fantastic. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was close. <laughs> all right. So after the creature's turn, I believe that's all it can do at the moment because it can't fire any, do anything after the web fire. So yeah, it is. Uh, that is its turn. That brings us to Plonk. Okay. Now that she has a rock. <laughs> and she can't see. I know, this light. I, yeah, I'm kidding. I, I definitely can't see it, right? Uh, the creature, no, at this point, no. It's it's too far away. And I don't know where it's coming from. Uh, it... Um, you probably... Well, it should while it was about here, you away. probably got a slight glimpse of it. Yeah. Like, in the shadows, but it just scurried... I mean, also, it just shot webbing at you, so you know, like, at least in what kind of direction it's in. So with that, so if I was to, like, try to hit it, it would be a disadvantage. Oh, absolutely. Um, because the creature hasn't taken a turn yet. It just didn't. Oh, it did. (laughs) You were last in the initiative order. You were the one. I'm going to go last. <clears throat> well, I can't do that. <laughs> <sighs> Are we going to take the dodge action and move on? Yeah, I guess. All right. <laughs> Zoxa, So your glad turn. I have all these cool things that I can do. <laughs> that but I can't, can't see do. in the dark. 
exactly what you'd like to do. This creature is getting much closer to uh, Tita. I honestly wouldn't know that, though. Oh, yeah, that's true. Um, you would know because I, I can see him and I'm probably like, what's up, bro? I still bro? don't understand how Verdon don't have dark vision. I don't know. I still, they just don't. It doesn't make sense it just, either. I, just I seriously, I don't understand because they were... You used goblins. to live in caves, but then they evolved and you don't live in caves anymore, so you don't but need to don't vision. elves have dark vision? Yeah. yeah. But you're not an elf, either. You live with the elves, that doesn't mean you're an elf. But, we're... No, elf, but... But, like... Like, it, it's just... That's how it goes. Works. That's but how it doesn't make any sense if it's how it works. Like, a fey creature in the sense that elves have, like, fey ancestry? Because, like, it's not. they get their dark vision? Okay. It's just... That's just how it works. That's how it is. <laughs> it shouldn't have been to Verdun. <laughs> You should have just been a goblin, Christina. <laughs> Same goblins um, could see. So yeah, I. Uh, what we got? So I'm going to turn to Minerva, mm-hmm. who just say, dodged uh, behind the wall. You uh, you you shot it with a a bolt, what right? What am I supposed to do? No, no, that was good. Oh, okay. Uh, can you cast light on that cross bolt? Of course I can. Because then we could see it too. <gasps> All right, sounds good. Thank you. <laughs> Until then, <laughs> and that'll be my turn. He's like, okay. and that is all. <laughs> Whatever, it's your turn. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna cast light. I'm gonna take the bolt, and I'm going to cast the light cantrip on it. So that your bracer's light disappears, and the light yep. hits your bolt. Mm-hmm. That cantrip is an action. Yep, though. so that's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Tita! So I cast the light on it, and I thumbs up. <laughs> Getting there! <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to cast Light Cantrip on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to cast Light Cantrip on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm going to cast Light Cantrip on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm going to cast Light Cantrip on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm going to cast Light Cantrip on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm going to cast Light Cantrip on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm going to cast Light Cantrip on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm going to cast Light Cantrip on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm going to cast Light Cantrip on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm going to cast Light Cantrip on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm going to cast Light Cantrip on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm going to cast Light Cantrip on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm going to cast Light Cantrip on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm going to cast 15? Yep. You can hear the, the claws just <laughs> into the rock. Oh, cool. Is he helping me take this thing out? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> um. Um. <laughs> Jesus. Well, he's 15 feet away. Don't you shurikens? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, I guess I'll do that. You don't have to. You no, can keep yeah, mining. yeah. No, you can keep mining. That's that's really the biggest thing that's making us money right now. Yeah, in this um, current moment, yeah. I mean, what? it's just him. Like, does he have anything on him? Like, he's just, like, uh, no, there's he no like, weapons, weapons or anything. Nope, he's just got, yeah, the, the minis a little, uh. And how. How big does he look to me? I can tell that he's, he's about the same size as you. Actually, he's just bulbous. He's real fat. I'm just, I'm like bulbous. about to explode. Keep. keep finding, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So you keep picking away. <clears throat> um, after Tita, it is its turn. It's gonna crawl right down into obviously, melee with you. Obviously. Uh, let me roll to see if he gets his web back. If he gets his web back, I'm thrilled. He does not. <laughs> Uh, yes. However, he is going to attempt to claw at you as well as bite you. Great. So for the claw, does a fifteen hit you? No. So you go to swipe. Uh, he goes to swipe at you. You just kind of turn real slow with the pickaxe in hand, and his claw just on the pickaxe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then it's going to attempt to bite you. <clears throat> Great. If I could roll you. this evening, that'd be fantastic. Yeah, same. <laughs> oh, like, there we go. That's I like to see that. That's gonna be a nineteen to hit. Okay, yes. Okay, so you will suffer. <laughs> How nice. <laughs> and I'll roll some damage for you. Uh that's ooh, that's real low. That's gonna be four points of piercing damage. Um and Two points of poison damage. No, I'm dead. One point of poison damage. Oh my god, the defense uh, against poison. Uh, the target, and you must also succeed on a DC 11 constitution saving throw. What? Which you get advantage for. 
Roll. roll two because of one. your way of the oh. iron lung. Thirteen. Yeah. Thirteen. He you said succeed. it was eleven. So yeah, yeah you you're succeed. Good. Uh, you you do not become poisoned. Nice. Yes. Um, and that it's that's its turn. Can't do much <laughs> else. <laughs> Plonk, you are up. Yes. Um. You could get closer too. It's nice warm water. How far away is that little hoppy stuff? My favorite thing is, it's probably harmless water, too, and we're all like, no, don't touch it! Don't, don't, we'll all burn! I mean, I could, I just, I can jump, so, but how far away is that thing, like, that I jumped? Um, from there, you're looking at maybe 45 feet-ish? The first one? Yeah, well, no, No. the first one, from end to end. Uh, this is probably only, like, 10, 15 feet. Oh, so... It would, it would look like that. 10, 15, 15. Yeah, 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 something around that. <laughs> yeah. I just meant for that because clearly I can jump by. Or maybe if you said 45, probably 10, 15, 20. Mm. Mm. Or plunk. Mm. Uh, yeah, I can't really. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You don't want to try to move in at all, or? Um. You could just leave and go to continue to search for, you know, more tunnels and stuff. Well, I can't see anything. Right. You can just hold an action. Feel around. You can Helen Keller it and just... <laughs> <laughs> um... I don't know. There isn't really much I could do. Can't, I want to... I guess I'll go try to touch the water. Yeah, yeah, so you get to the edge here. Dip your hand in. And it's hot. It's not boiling or anything. It doesn't damage you. It's just very warm. It's like taking a hot bath or a hot tub type situation. Okay. Um, <laughs> can I swim? I would, if you, how's your strength? Because that's an athletic thing. The distance is crashed. Ah, oh, frill use! Ooh, this water. <laughs> <laughs> it's an athletics. Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't think I can swim. I step in the water, I immediately drown. <laughs> I mean, I can probably swim, just not see. Oh, cool. How so, deep is it, though? What's going to happen if you, like, step in it? Like, how deep is it? Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. 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 How, Check how far is that uh, first rock? This first, like, it's about feet. 10 to 12 feet away. Oh, so that's, like, nothing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's, like, four and Well, till like, Swamp Thing comes out and eats you, but... <laughs> <laughs> that's a joke. Um... It's a nice warm bubble bath. How far can I jump? Successfully, nine feet. Oh! Okay. (laughs) (laughs) So jump and I can By the way, the distance you can jump is your strength score in feet. Okay. So. Oh! oh, Cool! Same! (laughs) So I'm gonna. Actually, it's, it's about. 10 to 12 feet from where Zox is. From where you are, it's at least 15, if not more. She's like, so I walk around Zox. So okay. I mean, you have enough movement. You haven't moved. Well, yeah, like five feet of mm-hmm. movement to get to the pool to test. I'll take a step, mm-hmm. like, in front of Zoxa. Like here? <laughs> Into the water? No, like, like. Then push me aside, this. Yeah, like push him aside. Uh, yeah, and just kind of. I'll, I'll allow it. Excuse okay. me. <laughs> I mean, she probably walked through my legs. I'm gonna try to jump. All right. To the rock. So since you physically can't make it with your strength score, you need to make an athletics check to see if you can, you know, mm-hmm. potentially get there. Come on. Natural one. Come on, baby. No, do that one. Christina, whenever you roll, it makes me so nervous. No, okay. I say this with all the love in my heart. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I say it with no love. In the nicest way possible, on, I Christina. get scared whenever you roll. Natural one. Don't forget, we got those, uh, extra points here. Yeah, we got those. Is it an actual one? Please no. Actual one. <laughs> no. You got inspiration points, you got inspiration points. Yeah, got inspiration yeah points. I'm gonna have you to. You know what? No, no, no. It's an 11. That's what it is. Plus, no. plus whatever you need. It's an 11. That's what it is. It's an 11? Yep. Minus one. Minus one. So it's a 10. 10. I'm going to have to get the, the, the measurement thing oh out. Oh my god. Because that is so very close. Because I want to try to, like, gra- grab for, like, anything. In fr- like, well, I wouldn't it's see It's like it. a jump lunge. Like, yeah. Probably should have had this one prepared. <laughs> there it is. Oh, there it is. We're breaking out the measuring. I saw I saw it was a single digit, so this is all I could do for it. 
just barely. Your tippy toes hit the edge of the stone. And you're like, ah, wavering, and you just Can barely. Can I move forward? Yeah, yeah, you just barely keep your balance on this. <sighs> you get onto it. Hey, I did it! <laughs> <laughs> and that's your turn, unless you have a bonus action you'd like to use. I wonder if this keeps going. Takes one step, falls out, <laughs> falls in the water. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm on the rock. That's it. That's okay. all I can do. Right. I made it! <laughs> Your next move, you Back to the top, Zoxa. <laughs> okay, so now I'll look at Minerva and say, Great! Now shoot him with it! I am aiming it! <laughs> You can hold your turn until you can see it. Uh, I hold would like to do that. I will hold my turn. I will hold a catapult. Okay. With one of my darts. I'll, I'll throw up and hold it in the air and then just... Yeah. Wait. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that brings us to Minerva. Alright. Let me cast as a first level. Ah, uh, it's already twelve again. Okay. Would you like to uh, use anything or you want to go with the twelve? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yes, Flunk! Wait, what did you roll last time to hit it? I rolled Much like a more. 20. Oh, like a 10. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna add two inspiration points to it. It's making it a 14. 14. You take aim. Fire, you get this thing in your sights and release. And if Tita didn't isn't like wasn't kind of like wrestling with this thing, kind of took a step forward pushing it, you would have just barely missed. But you hit it with the inspiration fragments. Andy, make sure two are marked off Minerva so we don't forget. Um, and yeah, you hit this creature. Go ahead and roll some damage. It's like, okay. it's gonna be ten points of damage. Ooh, and now right. the glowing cross bolt is in. Yes, it is. So oh, now interesting. I can see it. You can see where it is, absolutely. Perfect. Yep. Um, so That's then your catapult mean. goes off. My Soxa. catapult goes off, and I don't have to roll to hit. He has to roll to dodge, and it's now a DC 13 deck save. Ooh. Nice. He still will save. <gasps> just, just, just barely saves. Cool. Nothing. Nothing. Oh. Yeah, no, it, it hits it hits the wall next to him and and sticks in there. Just a little ting ting ting. Yeah, no, that is that is not a. He takes half. No, this is a. I whip it, and if someone happens to be in the way, it hits them. Ooh, does it help me get the vein out of the wall? <laughs> <laughs> it sticks right into the vein. <laughs> There's plenty of force for it, Zach. So just the aim is a little off. All right, so that's uh, o for three like, with that. <laughs> Maybe chromatic orb is a better option for you. But Tita, okay. it's your turn. I cannot cast that yet. Why? Are you a diamond? I don't worth have fifty gold or something. I do not have a diamond worth at least fifty gold. I gotta get that. Credits. Fifty uh, credits. Credits. Mm. Tita, you are now kind of face to face with this creature. Last thing you were doing was still picking at the wall. I mean, well, obviously I'm gonna turn and try to hit him with a. Zoxa misses, and Minerva just like. Raises the eyebrow. <laughs> Zoxa misses. I feel like it goes like between the two of us. I look at him like, whoa. Because of like, <laughs> how you sassed just, me earlier, she definitely just, like, just whip it and gives turn you to the her. eyebrow. Yeah. Turn to her and go, nice shot. <laughs> um, so yeah, I guess I'm just going to say I'm going to dance. Alright, go for it. Uh, 19. That hits. Go ahead and roll some damage. Four. Four points damage? Alright. Sorry, guys. Any bonus action? <laughs> don't apologize to me. Um, I have not do anything so far. Uh, if you don't want to use a key point, you could just make one unarmed strike, or you could use a key point and do two. Or there's plenty of other things you can do. <clears throat> well. Um, Such no, patient. I won't use the point yet. I'll just do a regular. Okay, go for it. Uh, 15. Uh, that hits. Um, And another four points. Nice. All right. So this creature comes down and he uh, he slashes at you and you kind of block it with the pickaxe and then he bites and you're like, oh! So then you just come in and you just a haymaker right to the side and then uh, another <laughs> one uh, up to the side. Yeah, just <laughs> this creature's like, ah! um, Yeah. 
And that is your turn, Tita. Anything else? I look at Minerva like right there. It is its turn now. Does it regain if it's webbing? Nope. Um, so yeah, it's going to... Hmm. Yeah, it's going to try to grapple you to the ground. Okay. Uh, so make a... <clears throat> Actually, no, it's an attack roll. You can attempt to break free next time, so I have to roll to hit you. Uh, that's going to be a fail. So it's, it's two clawed hands that grab your shoulders and try to wrestle you to the ground. But you're you're too strong for that. You just keep yourself steady. And then it goes, it's like, ah, it gets angry and then goes in for another bite, like right into your okay. shoulder. Um, but you were just too quick. You just, you just kind of... Its arms off, and in doing so, hit it in the, kind of in the face with the, the, the blood end of the pickaxe. And this this thing's just wasting its turns. So it brings us to Plonk. So, I'm a better dog than you! <laughs> so, because it's like grappling mm. and everything. It's not at the moment, but yes, well, yeah. it tried. It Yeah, it tried to. Uh, it's not really paying attention to me, I guess. It is not. So, I am going to try to uh, sneak attack. Ooh, okay. Um, and shoot it with my short bow. Ah, go for it, yeah. Make an attack roll. Come on. You should just leave all your d20s out of there so you don't have to try to pull them out every time you want to roll. It, it adds to the suspense of these <laughs> rolls, I know. <laughs> come on, come on. Come on. Not 20. Yeah! On sneak attack? Oh my god. Alright, so what's going to happen is you're going to Epic! add up the maximum you could do with the bow. The short bow is a d6, and your sneak attack is 2d6. So before you roll, though, hold on. So that's 18, plus what's your modifier? Um. For your damage. Um, plus five, right? Mm. No. The short bow. Sorry. It's like the 1d6 plus. Oh, plus three, sorry. Yeah. All right, so we're at 21. Um, and now you roll the three die on top of that. Oh, one. <gasps> Get little <beat>. Six. <laughs> Two ones and oh. a four. <laughs> hey, but Plonk. As this arrow lands into this creature, it's kind of like wrestling back and forth with Tita, and this arrow sinks right into its uh, right into its side. Mm -hmm. And Tita, you, as you're wrestling with this thing, you just feel its grip go loose and just collapse in your arms to the gr like in, to the ground. I'm sure you're not gonna hold it up, but yeah. Well, like for a second, maybe. And then you're like, <laughs> don't be tough. What am I doing? <laughs> you just kind of like you just kind of like falls to the ground and then rolls into the water and just sinks to the bottom. <laughs> Congratulations, you've beaten Etrafan. Nice one, Plong. As he rolls into the I'm just gonna turn and start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, back to that. <laughs> back to work. Mm -hmm. Oh, the light went away. The light did go away. The light is now falling to the bottom oh, of the water. Oh, perfect. Oh, cool. How deep is it? Plong, <laughs> like I five can... feet. <laughs> it's still tall. It's still deeper. Yep. Mom, I can come get you. I, I can see. I can just come get you back if you want. Well, I mean, it's only a foot deeper than like how tall I am. Can you see where you are, though. Oh no! Exactly. <laughs> I mean, is that the water? I can get you. Oh, oh, is no. the water like glowing at all? Because there's the a slight, there? there's a slight glow over here, okay. which kind of extends to maybe there, but it's not going to reach where you are. Perfect. Help. You can't, yeah, you can't see really anything. You're just like, you can hear Minerva talking no, to you. No, like, now I can't see anything at all. all right, we're in the just, middle of the water on a rock. Just stay there. She's going to just like go into the water like cautiously, but then when she realizes it's not going to boil her, she's just going to go walk over yeah. and like. Yeah, you can just get so there. It's just up to back. like. Not it's up to your, like your stomach, <laughs> like. Well, it's about five no, feet, so it's no, like to her. I have like a oh, okay. yeah throat, yeah roughly. So all right, and Minerva just carries you like this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, make make a strength check. Yeah, I was gonna say like Plunk, if you want to climb on my shoulders, we can just go back. Okay. It's not gonna be very high since she's so small. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh no! Okay, great. I rolled is drowning. so low. I rolled so low. Okay. What'd you roll? Plus one. So four? Okay. So you're like, hey, Plonk, why don't you get on my shoulders? And Plonk's like, okay! He just jumps on. <laughs> and then because of that, you weren't expecting up. the weight. Yeah, you just both <laughs> under the water. <laughs> and now you're... I can't do it! I can't do it, Plonk! I don't know how to do it! And I, like, piggyback. She's just, like, holding just, like, me. <laughs> you're, I would say... Now that we're, like, in the water, like, and you don't weigh anything in the water, can I just, like, adjust her so she's, like, a piggyback? And, like, yeah. All right. Easy okay. enough. But now you're just both soaked to the bone. I turn around. It is warm. Like, it is warm. Just, it is I just imagine, warm. just like I can't swim, and she's literally just like holding me, like <laughs> looking at me. So I'm like, okay, climb, climb on my shoulders means climb, not jump, please. Sorry. It's all right. Just, just notes for next time. I am. I'm very upset that I did not get to see all of the things that just happened. <laughs> you could hear it. Oh you yeah, it's flashing and yeah. No context, which is honestly funnier. <laughs> I'm just, I hear it, I'm like, everything good back there? <laughs> You're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, just, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, jump onto my back. <laughs> just like a splash. And then just, so there's a lot of splashing, and then, ah, I guess what, I can Plonk, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Tita, how much time would you like to spend attempting to get some of this uh, mithril? Well, I mean, can I? Like, just, I unless, they're, unless they're going to rush me if we that's get what I'm money. Saying, yeah. how, much, how much time would you like to spend, and how much time are you all willing to give Tita? Yeah, uh, we he... still don't know where in this <laughs> tunnel we're <laughs> supposed to be meeting anyone. Yeah. I, we just spent, like, so much time trying to kill this thing. We can figure it out. Zaxa, do you know how long it's been since I recast the disguise spell when we got to the bottom of the stairs? Uh-huh. He knows exactly he with his keen mind feet. It, since you cast it at the... That was the first stairwell you went down, right? Yes. Second stairwell in here, searching around. I'd say you probably have about a half hour left. Maybe, maybe a little more. We didn't actually spend that much time in the back. There was only like two no, rooms, you just right? had to go down another staircase, and yeah. you kind of searched around here a and bit, around, and then you saw the creature and fought it. So it hasn't been like that long. Six seconds, so it wasn't even that long. Yeah, and it was yeah. like a minute, maybe, that you went through the battle. It was more like searching around, walking blindly in the dark, yeah. and all that fun mm-hmm. stuff. Right. Um, yeah, so what are we thinking, Tita? Um, I mean, I'm probably going to just continue doing that until... When everybody yells at me like that, we have to go. So okay, five minutes, Tita. So you can try to get as much as you can. So what minutes. has t- what? How much have I? What? Well, of course I just roll like, roll a percentile there. die for me, or dice. Is this two? <sighs> I love how you all thought spiders were coming. Well, you said webs. You said webs. That's right, this thing does webs. He's he's of us the spider family. Okay. No. Spider adjacent. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> does not really like a spider. <laughs> oh, oh, that's the percent. I was like, <laughs> what did you just roll? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> you were like, holy. It was a D6. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Uh, no, so you... In only five minutes time with a roll of, you said it was 39? 34. 34. That's pretty good. I would say you get a, a chunk out that's probably about this size in total. Um, this isn't a, a metal that you have worked with before on Pandemonium, so you're not really sure how much it's worth. Okay. So it's um, like a foot long? So like it's, yeah, it's, it's about, it's like this. Okay. Ish. Around that. Hard to throw the crazy on it. Yeah. Real crazy. Um, so, you get that chunk. Okay. And what would you like to do? Well, I mean, Mom already yelled, so... Mom did already yell. <laughs> um, I'm gonna... Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna hop back to the group, I guess I can bring that with me. Do a little hippity hop. Hippity hop, hop yes, the hobby. Alright. I'm gonna continue to move on. Not, not grabbing you this one. Hands. Hands. <laughs> <laughs> it's the mage hand, that's right, it's not me. <laughs> He's got a mind of its own. That's fantastic. Can I look around for a rock? 
There, yeah, there's there's bits of rock everywhere. Alright, I'm gonna pick up a rock. I'm gonna hand it to Plonk. How big is this rock? It's like this size. And I'm going to cast the light pinch on it. Oh, you now have light on that this rock. rock. Yay! How long does that last? An hour? An hour. Okay. I love this rock! <laughs> she drops it in the water. <laughs> and now that you have this... <laughs> Literally, she's like, ooh! <laughs> so you're going to continue to head down the there's only one passageway left to go down mm-hmm. so you all continue into the darkness with your one small beacon of rock light great yeah and that's where we're going to end for the evening all right so thank you so much for watching we're going to be back here next week as usual 7 p.m also don't forget this sunday reserve inspirations game corner yeah. we're going to be playing yeah. 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 it's going down it's going it should be a good down. time it should be a good time, yeah. a good time. Yeah. players are going to be myself and lauren and then mike and christina will be joining for this particular one so we're very excited um and then the following week we're going to be doing clue so it's one of one of my favorite board games so be pretty exciting. Uh, But again, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next week.